Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Sorry about the other day. It did sound like there were some microphone issues. Hopefully today it's a little better. Welcome Charmander the Knight and Chris. I say I haven't seen Charmander the Knight in a while, but welcome back. Let's chat in terms of expectations for today's stream. Uh, I don't know if we'll make progress. I mean, we got stuck a long time ago on Jester. I have taken a break from the game. We're going to try again, so probably the first 20 minutes are going to be relearning some of the enemy gimmicks. And uh, yeah, if we could get past that one bonus stage with Jester, I don't think the character is that bad. I just really don't like his other challenge. So we should hopefully be able to get to the final character. Yeah, like we did get basically all the way to the end and then just didn't get lucky and lost, which was a pretty bad feeling. Ludana agreeing, apparently. Let's pause that. Let's go ahead and boot it up. Yeah, apparently Windows turned on micro microphone enhancements again, even though I never told it to. And in fact, I explicitly turned it off. But thanks, Windows 11. I really hate that that's a thing I'm going to have to check every time now, because I, I never touch it. Why would I touch it once I turn it off? What madness. Make sure the game comes up properly before I switch over. Like this, do this. It's becoming self-aware, I think so. Uh, that's not properly sized. Give me a second. What happened to this? I'm just gonna delete this. I don't think that's proper. Sorry about technical issues in the beginning. Not sure why that doesn't work properly. Interesting. And that caused the game to crash. Is that why I had it in windowed before? I forgot that was the thing that can happen. You know what? I vaguely recall this happening last time. It has been so long since we set up. I forgot it crashes on full screen sometimes. Give me a second to fix this. How do I fix that once I'm in here? Hmm. That's kind of a problem because I didn't get that option that I got a moment ago. It's a little weird the menu doesn't have it. Sorry for listening to the menu music for a little bit. I'm just going to pick a random character just to get into a menu. Okay, there we go. I'll leave it like this for now and see how this looks. We'll, we'll call that perks of the system. Remind, remembering why we put it in certain settings. I was like, why don't I have this full screened? And I'm like, now I remember. I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna do this, and we're good to go. Also, for some reason, you can't choose windowed or whatever once you're in a. Uh... Once you're in the game itself, which I think is weird. Aww. Anyway, let's try this again. Yeah, we beat everybody else's. <laughs> I don't- I think the hardest one was probably the inventor. Honestly, it said the witch was five stars. I don't think we retried anything on the witch. We got really lucky with the inventor. And a couple of the robot ones were pretty terrible. But this one is just like, hmm. Yeah, the one where you swap equipment, this one is really not fun to me. I might go and do a different one first. I don't know. I wanted to beat them in order, but honestly, the fact that it's like you could take like a bad fight and then you're just like you're hosed, it just is the worst feeling in the world. Like we were literally resetting because it wasn't even worth continuing if I got certain enemies. Like, that's how bad it got. I remember how bad it got last time. Because I, I really hate this gimmick, chat. I would just like to underline that. <laughs> just like, I really don't like that all of the strategy to do this is just like, yeah, see, one and one. Yeah, one one complete, one complete. No. 
This one is abysmal. I might as well just get used to it. Okay, so let's investigate our deck real quick. We have nine cards. Okay. Don't know which one I want to kill first. I probably want to kill all of them. Start with you. Permanently delete the first card in your hand. Um. <laughs> Let, let's start by getting rid of cards. <laughs> All right, chat. Oh, do damage to me. It doesn't matter. Like, this is my opportunity to do so. Hmm. Alright, we're slimming down the deck already. We'll take some damage. So we just gotta kill the thing now. Don't remember what magic trick does. Oh, discard's current hand? No thanks. So unfortunately, I think the robot rolled kinda high, so the run might already be over. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Do you see what I mean about the luck? Where, like, I had the right idea, but he just rolled, like, nothing but three and above. So, like, what am I supposed to do about that? Like, I need to get rid of the cards. Alright, easier enemy to do it on this time. Yeah, like... I need to be able to get rid of cards just for chat clarity. Like, it's... Like, if I don't do that, there's no point to continuing. We'll get rid of one of these. I would like to upgrade maybe the boops. Maybe that was what I did wrong last time. I guess it could be less... I guess I'll heal here into damage. I would like to get rid of a heal. That's going to be a super dead card pretty much beyond the first area. Actually, I probably could have done... I could have killed him here if I wanted to. Yeah, that was greedy. I should have just killed him. I deserve the greed. Yeah, I deserve the greed. I deserve to get punished for the greed. That that time, that was my fault. I was like, well, maybe he won't do like a million damage. No. So annoying, I swear. Like, if we didn't have to just get rid of cards, it would be fine. But, like, I know that if I don't do this, there's no point to continuing. I just need to figure out which is the easier fight. Yeah, like, this is a super dead hand. Can I get rid of this? Okay. Like, Boop is terrible. I need to get rid of a Bop. But I need to do it in such a way that I'm not, like, hosed. We'll focus on some damage now, so maybe I could just get away with one card per battle. Yeah, because we're, we're just going to constantly add stuff to the deck, which feels terrible. And that's the problem, you lose consistency. Alright, well, I'm just gonna pay for it right now. Yeah, anything that has a minimum damage roll, like, see how, like, dead our hand is already? And that, like, I don't want to draw three bops. So at least if I roll a one here. <laughs> More manageable. The shield actually gives me a turn to get rid of something. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Yeah, see how we just keep drawing the same couple cards over and over? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, his, the gimmick is really not fun. Like, just for chat clarity. Like, I remember exactly what this was. I remember not liking this for a reason. So eventually we'll get slightly better cards, but the fact that it's completely dictated by what random enemies we fight 
means the strategy just feels kind of terrible most of the time. Like, your strategy only takes you so far. Like, it's more RNG on top of RNG. Yeah, like, I have to take this, which is okay. I, I would rather have this than the heal that we had earlier. Welcome, Dango. Um... Do I dare do... The squid would be the safest, but do I really want to do the squid first is the question. Mm, yeah, I pro probably should get this out of the way. In case, in case the other thing goes poorly. Yeah, like magic missile being here is good, because I could do 5 damage. And I could do 3 damage. And I can... I wanted to delete something, but I actually don't want to delete the boops. The reason I don't want to do that is because it upgrades into free damage. But, like, I want to keep at least two of them. I don't know if I need three. Three might be a little excessive. I probably want the shield. I'm just going to heal. Yeah, like, this this kind of hand is kind of, uh Fortunately, it doesn't matter what we have here. Yeah, like, I could probably get rid of a boop. Like, I just don't like the blind dice. Okay, we need to get rid of the blind dice immediately. That, like, I don't even think that legit does anything other than just waste your time. We sadly did not get a six. That would have been huge. Yeah, headbutt is actually fairly good, at least. That I don't mind, but the blind dice needs to go. I don't mind it being weakened or anything else. I mean, I might as well as use it at this point, I guess. I don't think it even does anything to him. Yeah, like, see? Like, what's... What's the point of that? Like, it... It's such a bad ability. Alright, uh, let's... Recycle our hand, because I can't do anything with this. You've gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna attack, it's not worth it. So I'm almost dead. And we need to we need to draw real seriously? Am I gonna die already? Game please. I mean I gotta boop. I don't think I would survive another turn of that. Fortunately we leveled. Holy, that was terrible. So like snowball and fireball are fine. I, but I don't. <laughs> I mean, duplicate's okay, but it's like, I don't... We need to get rid of cards. Yeah, here's the big problem. Oh, and of course the first thing we have is shovel. Oh, this would have been like the turn to use it for a delete. Like, before we get serious at it, like, I need to get rid of cards. Right, I'm gonna use a one, because that gives a shield. And a freeze a dice, which I think is okay. You really need to be able to get rid of Ink Splat, because that is just a super dead card. Weekend. I don't even want Ink Splat. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. Wow. 
Oh, I, I'm discarding her in hand. That was okay. I mean, him rolling his six is actually good. I don't want to freeze this character, I don't think. I'm probably gonna heal. There we go. Because I'm not gonna level from this. Okay, good. We finally got lucky, chat. Finally. Oh, I was looking to see if I could get rid of a card real quick, but nah. Not worth. The fact that we have to take that is so brutal. Like, uh, I could destroy a card, which I probably do want to do. Although Bump is actually also really good. Ugh, this feels terrible. I want Bump, but I think I need to get rid of cards. I think I'm gonna purchase the deletion. Okay, what do we definitely... Okay, literally this card does nothing. I'd like that to not be there. Sadly, I would have liked the Bump, but we did not get lucky in the other one. Is there anything else I feel is like super bad for us right now? Sweets is like, I can have one Sweets. I don't really want more than that. We have three boops. Um, Headbutt is just... Uses 2, 4, 6, which is probably okay. Do I want multiple Sonic Waves? It does weaken the enemy, which is always going to be beneficial to me. The problem is that its cap is uh, 4. I guess the question is, do I think Magic Shield is worth it? Because we're going to end up with, like, an okay amount of ones as we play this. Maybe I just hold my money for now. Well, I mean, I did the more expensive delete. I should probably get rid of another one. Um, Let's get rid of Bop, then. I could have gone for the just the cheaper one and moved on. I probably want to kill this first so that I have access to healing. Yeah, if I could just choose any card, that would also eliminate the BS RNG that's happening. I probably just want to weaken. Burning his dice is fine. Getting his shield is good. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that gets through shield. That's unfortunate. Uh, we have a super dead hand. That's uh, that's not a great feeling. Um. Ooh. Bad draw. Wow. And the duplicate was right after. That's painful. Oh boy, we're about to take a ton of damage due to that. So we're gonna duplicate our four. See what we get here. I could do five damage. I could weaken the enemy. I can't kill no matter what this turn. But I think I'm gonna freeze and do a heal. Just to reduce how much ridiculous damage I'm about to take. Okay, I got rid of a 6, which is huge. Even if he doubles up there, it doesn't matter. So he shouldn't be able to do that next turn. <laughs> what, what is with this low roll? Game, come on! I, I, are you really going to force me to magic tricks so I don't die? Gotta be kidding me. Well, I got the boop too late. 
I basically died on a normal encounter. And he succeeded on the 50% chance. Wow. Actually unfair. <laughs> right, chat? That's actually unfair. There's nothing- I couldn't do anything differently. I just got hosed. It was terrible. I gotta heal up. Holy, that was horrible, RNG. Uh, I mean, I probably should do at least a t Let's do a three. Burn his dice, because it's better than boop at the moment. We just need to win this without dying, and then we will get healed. So at least I'm going to make it cost him health if he wants to hit me. <clears throat> wow, that was a terrible draw. Um, you do. Okay. Okay, we need to get rid of Blight immediately. I think we could all agree, like, that card is actually garbage. Get out of my hand. Okay, I did another weaken. Alright, one bad card down. <laughs> I get to play the game again. He should not be able to kill me, at least. He didn't roll double, so I didn't instantly die, so that's always a good feeling. Headbutt being usable twice is not bad. Getting all these spikes is so terrible, chat. I, I cannot state how terrible those cards are and how non-synergistic they are with the Jester. Get one damage, get a new dice. That's actually really good. Cauldron's really good. Everything else we picked up, actually trash. So every time we get a spike chat, we're just screwed. I don't know what to tell you. We just have to hope we don't draw it. And it of course. All right, let's, let's heal to get a shield. I'm going to burn a five to get rid of a spike. <laughs> just, we're going to get a new dice. Although that's kind of greedy. Ugh, I, I don't want to greed it. Let's just do the five damage. So we need to get rid of three spikes at some point. So I managed to get rid of one and the bad poison, which is huge. Alright, so I can reroll a one. I got a six out of it. Well, I'm pretty much going to get rid of sneeze. I don't think I want this in the deck at all. The question is how I should do it. Get rid of the three and the two for it. Alright, so that's two useless cards out as far as I'm concerned. Let's do a snowball on them. Alright, see. So that's a little unfortunate he rolled that many ones, but oh well. Uh. Shovel to weaken him. I'm gonna reset my hand. Oof. Okay. Odd. Damage. Damage. Alright, and that's why I left Boop in there. In case stuff like that happens. We at least could do some damage. Alright, we need to get rid of one of these for sure. All right, two spikes gone. So he took double damage, so he's basically dead now. All right, so two spikes down. We're like normalizing our hand a little more. But you see what I mean? Like, it's completely dependent. I have to get a five. I have to get a five almost every single time we play for the first couple of encounters, so I get to stabilize. Every time that doesn't get to happen, I get absolutely hosed. So that's where the RNG comes in. But like, there's only so much I could do here. Nudge, dice value minus one. I don't think I want that. Do I want another shovel? Do I want to delete a card? I probably just want to delete a card. As nice as shovel is... Well... Actually, you know what? I'm okay with getting another shovel. We, I, we might be able to get rid of the other card in our hand at some point. There's an upgrade place. Oh, this is a fight. Oh, right. I forgot apples can sometimes be enemies. 
So we should level off of this. So getting damage here shouldn't matter. There is a boss. That's what the glowing wizard is. I have to decide if we're doing it. Because getting the wizard's abilities are terrible. Speaking of terrible. Uh, let's get rid of Spike. Alright, so that's one less bad card for a boss. Yeah, Shovel is just kind of a free damage card. Yeah, weakening him here is super huge. Although I wish we could have weakened next turn. I guess in theory it could still happen. Burn him. And hopefully we get better than Boop here. Uh, that's a pretty dead... That That's a pretty dead hand. Damn. Yeah, we got that in a bad order. Also, why are the... Hold on. You should not be getting the little pop-ups on stream. I don't know when this started, but this is actually starting to annoy me. Chat, do you remember how to turn that off? Because I swear this has been off ever since I started streaming and it turned on again yesterday. You should not be able to see little stream pop-ups. Flash the window when I receive a chat message. Never. When I receive chat room notification. When a friend comes online, everything is off. Why are you getting it? Did they break something in Steam? I literally have it when I'm not in game. Why are you able to see that? I'm gonna hit never, and hopefully that stops that from happening. I'm assuming they broke something, because I would like to not advertise random people joining in the online or whatever. Right, so I could do double two damages here. Then I could just straight up get rid of Ice Age. Freeze a dice. Alright, so as long as we don't die right here, we're Bicycle fine. Disaster. So that's two really bad cards just out of my hand already. Freezing his dice is huge. Two freeze means he can't do anything this turn. I think he's guaranteed dead now this turn. Man oh man what I would love to do to get rid of Poison Cloud chat. It's it's okay, but I don't think I really want to do I really I don't think I want to get rid of Magic Shield. Spike is the thing that I wanted to get rid of for sure. So he can't do anything now. If I can't do three damage, actual shenanigans. Actual shenanigans if I can't do three damage. Wow, this was so bad. Oh my gosh, please give me a new hand. What the heck was that? Holy. I actually would not have been able to kill their chat, by the way, had I not burned that. That was terrible. Oh, I'm not even close to leveling. Oh, that's really bad, actually. I thought I was going to level. Uh... Let me get this. Yeah, Boop Plus might be worth it. Cauldron Plus is good. I might get Cauldron just to dupe our dice. Oh man, we got such bad cards. We're gonna get Cauldron. And I only have one coin, so I can't even upgrade a card. Big yikes. I'm not even close to surviving this. I think I can't kill the wizard. We just got really unlucky. I also thought I was going to level. So I think I just have to move on. Okay, I got rewarded with Cauldron at least. We're going to dupe a six. We're going to do four damage and weaken. I'm going to reroll a two. Five damage. Magic missile damage. 
we roll a one. Weaken again. Weaken again. See, that's huge. That was a good turn. So I got rid of one of his sixes, and I nerfed all of his equipment. Like, that was a really good play for me. That's the kind of turn I want to have. And not whatever this garbage is. Um... Rid of a one. Come on. <laughs> Come on, what is this? Jeez. What a bad hand, chat. What a bad, bad hand. Um, I didn't want to use that. I actually was just... Never mind. That really sucks. I was going to pair up delete, but I got really hosed. I think this is over now. I don't see how I'm going to survive this turn. Wow, and we drew this again. You've got to be kidding me. Am I going to die because I just didn't draw anything other than the worst cards in which I didn't have a chance to get rid of them? Wow. Wow. Yeah, there's some things I don't miss about this game. I'm dead. What did I do wrong? Who knows? I died anyway. This, this episode sucks, chat. If we at least had a choice whether or not we could pick it up, I would probably have fun with this, but I really hate this bonus episode. Let me be very clear. Like, I literally drew zero damage cards and the run was over. So we just have to basically never fight certain enemies, I guess. Or else we're just done. So I guess I'm just gonna have to hard avoid enemies and not bother leveling. And just pray we could get to the end with good good combat RNG. Not like actually winning or doing anything. I'm gonna get rid of this just to use it. Right, let's get rid of one of these. Get rid of a boop. Like, we need to basically just cycle a card every combat or else I lose. There's certain enemies it looks like it's easier to do this on. And that's good. Uh, it's better to take damage here. Fireball is okay. I could heal because there's no reason to not heal. The Magician's cards I think are okay. I'll take the early level up to make the next four er easier. As long as we just continuously get rid of bad things, I'm okay with this. Let's start powering up Delete. Yeah, like Magic Missile is fine, Magic Shield is fine because I'm getting rid of the heals. Now I can just get rid of this. So, like, we're trimming the cards. Like, I need both, like, good starting RNG and then just not hopefully get hosed. It's kind of a tall order, to be honest. Oh, taking five there it does kind of suck. It means he's at least defenseless. <laughs> so fortunately we are gonna level here so i guess i'm gonna use sweets to get rid of this or delete to get rid of sweets i mean i'm gonna take the healing extra dice should help so it's a question of, do I want to even fight Sneezy? I don't think I do. Like, he kind of... Well, I mean, like, I actually did recover from it. Baby Squid is the problem. I wish we didn't have to fight Baby Squid. The stupid ink thing is, like, actually a big issue. That was a, that was a super dead card when we drew it.
Wow, I put burn on a dice I can't even use. It's terrible. Yeah, the problem with Boop as it is, is just it's a very weak ability. It's like I need to do something fun here. Burn, put a shield up. Lisa should be defended fairly well. So I might get an opportunity here to use a delete. I'm gonna do a one. I'm gonna get rid of a boof. Or a bop, I mean. And then it doesn't matter what I do here. So we're gonna level. The question is, what do I do? Do I dare fight Sneezy? I think I do. I think we have to risk it just to get just to get XP. I wish we had the weaken attack, because the weaken was actually really good. We just drew super unlucky. Weaken is definitely the thing that helps us survive longer. Wow, he got the double. That's not good. Burn him. We gotta get rid of Ink Splat. Do a damage. Shield, because I can't kill no matter what. Right. Hopefully we can stem how much damage we're about to take here. He rolled double five, seriously. Wow. <laughs> that's that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about, chat, where I just kind of roll my eyes. Oh, I almost used it on headbutt. No, we need to get rid of Ink Splat. Get out of here. All right, bad card down. I'll take another turn with the enemy. I swear, if he rolls like double sixes, I'm going to lose my mind. All right, it was close. He almost rolled double sixes, chat. Dumb. I have another opportunity to get rid of a card. Unfortunately, I didn't see one that was worth getting rid of. Yeah, that equipment is terrible. We at least get a duplicate. Like, I think the game recognizes how terrible that is, so it gives us the duplicate. We need to get... You seriously rolled a four and a two. I mean... We, we need to get rid of the spike. Like, this is no no contest. It needs to go. Okay. Alright, so I could do even damage here. Get rid of a spike. I'll, I'll pay health to get rid of a spike, actually. Alright, so that's two spikes completely out. Ironic, I'm using burn on the marshmallow. I don't think it really does that much. Yeah, I didn't even have to use it. Alright, so I can use a 5 here. You know what? This is the quickest so far we've gotten rid of spikes. I'm feeling better about this. <laughs> we just need to get rid of sneeze and then we're good. I'm not going to bother using burn. Wow. And he rolled high. Gotta be kidding me. I think it's over. I rolled terrible and we drew terrible. It's over. You gotta be kidding me. I can't even dupe what we have. We rolled so low. Wow. GG. Again, I don't feel like I did anything wrong. I just died arbitrarily. Cool. He just high rolled. Yeah. I really don't like this. Is there a, is there something I need to know about like how to avoid this BS? I don't even think I got punished by Spike necessarily. I just rolled super terrible. Like if I just rolled a four, I would have won that. Just, I don't know, chat. Yeah. Like, again, it's just kind of like, mm, 
I don't mind, like, having strategy with the cards, but, like, it just feels really terrible that, like, my deck is based off of what they have. That's, like, the odds of me getting through some things are pretty low. Like, should I be skipping these fights? Even though I think their weapons are okay. I'm gonna get rid of a bop. Oh my gosh, get rid of a bop, please. Right, chat? Like, that kind of nonsense right there. That needs to go. We could take 10, that's fine. Then I could get rid of his plasma cannon later. Do some damage in case I need to emergency kill him. Uh, he didn't high roll, so I don't just instantly die here. So I could kill him right now, and I think I will. Plasma Cannon is not great, but I think we need the level up. What? <laughs> what the hell is this? Seriously, the squid is mandatory. I, I just don't want the squid. The squid actually is a bad thing to have. The wizard's also pretty heinous, from what I remember. He's like the, uh... He's like Spike, but I need specific numbers. This is pretty not good, to be honest with you. Just keep in mind, he has a million abilities. I don't want any of these. Ugh. It'd be so bad to get into. Alright, let's heal, do some damage. Yeah, like, again, as I said before, some of it just feels like, oh, is this character mandatory in your path? Well, goodbye strategy. There's nothing you could do. Not a good feeling. Uh, I'd like to get rid of Plasma Cannon if we can. This is where we just kind of reset, you know, right? Like, just like, yeah, I don't think so. Heal up, I guess. Do damage, do damage. So I can heal next turn if I need to and kill him, as is. As long as he doesn't lock our equipment. Oh, he dodges attack. That's okay. I can heal up here. Fine. I guess I can hold off on the broadsword. The broadsword was actually a pretty good pickup. All of this is heinous. Like, these will stay in our hand chat until I could use them. All the mirrors is okay. Just... Uh, I don't know about the rest. That, that That's a lot of single dice this early. Destroy a card, dice value plus one. Dice value plus one would actually be huge. So I'm going to level no matter what next battle. Guess I'll fight the squid then. Wow. Uh, shock there is good. The problem is that you can see we get into this kind of scenario. We need to get rid of bops. Shock here is actually big. Am I going to die to baby squid because we're drawing terrible? really happening. Holy. Oh my gosh, this is a bad hand. Uh, get rid of poison. Okay, okay I, I get to do something. That's a good sign. I was hoping to get rid of plasma cannon. That was abysmal. And he rolls another six. I'm actually going to die if that happens again. Holy. I got plus one dice this fight. I'm going to heal because I have to. And if for some reason there's another turn, I would like to get rid of Plasma Cannon, please. Thank you. I don't want Plasma Cannon. Okay, I managed to not die. I did it. Yeah, this episode is abysmal as I said before. I, I do not have fun with it for this exact reason. I have a five. Oh, I have a six. Oh! 
Oh, there's broadsword that would have saved us. Okay, don't roll double sixes. Okay, I'm not dead. I'm at one. No, I'm dead. Damn, I should have magic tricked, I guess. It's so painful. But again, it's just like kind of all RNG. Like, do, would I need to have done that if he just rolled a four? No. Yeah. Maybe I should do Hothead. You know what? I'm just gonna go back to title. Maybe I should do Hothead second, so that way I could get rid of Plasma Cannon. I actually really like Broadsword start. Broadsword is really strong and helps us get through things. I'm actually just gonna quit. <laughs> like, if I if I don't see certain things, I might as well just reset at this point. Broadsword start was really good. Alright, we can broadsword start. I don't know what this thing gives us. Should probably fight this first then. Alright, we 100% need to get rid of a bob. Well, we still can. This is where we need to do it. Heal. Damage. What is this? Why is he high rolling? God. Am I gonna die before I even get a chance to get to the broadsword? What the hell is this? Seriously? I'm dead if he does that again. Ridiculous. Heal. Damage. So terrible. Wolf Wolf, I think, is fine. I don't mind keeping that. Puppy Bite is okay. It's it's worth mad it's worse magic missile. Speaking of bad, uh heal into damn it? Or heal into heal, maybe? No, we gotta do damage. Uh, at least I got. S oh my! Come on! <laughs> Seriously, he just rolls the six. Come on! You've got to be kidding me! All right. Well, I gotta go for damage here because if he shields up again, I can't win. So no matter what, I think I'm dead next turn. Get yeah, it a shield. I need to do five damage. Ooh, close. Uh, like I think those I think the frog starting items are good. I don't <sighs> the chat <laughs> Stupid baby squid. I hate this enemy chat. This this is like the run ruiner. It's like being forced to fight porcupine. This thing is horrible. I hate this. Okay, do as much damage as I can. I'm going to bop. And then I'm gonna heal for extra shield. Stupid baby squid. Alright, at least he didn't roll like six and four like he did the other time. Stupid. I don't know what this is, so I'll just burn it. Yeah, unfortunately the puppy dog. So I, so my preference would be wizard frog. That would be like my best start. Like, do I think it's worth resetting for it? Probably not. Shield in. Some damage. I don't really want a magic trick unless I'm in a super bad place. Yeah, like, see that? We didn't even take damage. The odds of me winning are pretty much instant. Just need to roll, like, any damage ability and he dies. Yeah. That's fun. Gotta get rid of Ink Splat, because that card is trash. Um... I guess I'll fight Syria Head. Syria Head is okay attacks. So I might as well just get overhealing now. That's pretty good damage. I'll do this then. 
We're going to resist two damage. I'm going to heal no matter what here. Wow, he didn't even get to attack. I could get rid of the ink splat BS then. Let's heal again for more shields. Let's do damage. All right, so this is off to a good start. I can resist four damage. Even if he weakens me here, it doesn't matter. So Stereo Head actually looks like a good enemy to fight because I get an opportunity to do whatever I want. Okay, I can slowly start paying towards delete. So I need Ink Splat to come up again and then we can get rid of it. Ooh. Finally managed to do some damage there. That kind of sucks. Triple sixes. So I'm going to heal six. Get rid of the Ink Splat. Because it literally doesn't do anything. And then I'm going to Headbutt. That's fine. Okay, one bad card down. I get to play the game again, chat. Yeah, his sonic waves I like. I like the duplicate dice. Do I want to destroy a card? Do we have any terrible cards in our deck? Not really. I think her hand is actually pretty good. I might trim like one more bop, but I don't think I think it's worth me holding onto my money for later in case I want to get like an upgrade and a card. Like right now I don't think I don't think nudge is really useful unless it upgrades into something. I wish I could see what the upgrade form is cuz I just don't remember. I think you can check the upgrades. But I might need to be in the blacksmith to see it. All right, so we're going to fight, and then I'm going to take the healing. I'm going to choose not to delete anything. I think our hand is okay. We're going to do four damage. I'm going to choose not to use my broadsword, because we rolled pretty terribly. I'm going to do damage. I'm going to heal in. A little unfortunate on the draw there. And they got an odd even. That was, like, one of the best things they could roll. That really sucks. Got rid of our six, which would have been... Oh, he set the, set the six on fire. Well, I mean, I'm going to do eight to him then. We're going to heal. And I'm going to shield. I could magic trick if we draw terribly. Okay, one freeze is okay. Come on. All right, Jack, come on. Give me, give me something. Okay. We're working through. I don't want to really reset our hand unless... Oh, come on. Damn, did another six. I need him to stop high rolling. A stupid five. Gives us another out. Is it worth double weakening? Do I think I could kill him? So if I do three damage, I need to do four. I could do this just to see if this kills. How did... How, how do we have nothing but odd dice? That kind of blows. Um... I could take the damage now to guarantee... I'm trying not to magic trick. Really? Really? Wow. Chad, we needed, like, literally anything that did damage, and we did not draw it. That was painful. That was a waste of a magic trick. That was painful bad. At least I'm at basically full health again. Question is more, do I want to get rid of these cards? They're a card that I feel is, like, ultra dead in our deck. Maybe I get rid of... One bop? Or one boop, I mean. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of one boop. I'll pay the cheaper price. Just so we have, like, better card cycling. I'll hold on to the rest for later. So we got double heals. I'm forced to fight the pirate. So I, ha I have to take all three encounters here. I don't get a choice. So no strategy here. I just gotta keep going. Let's headbutt into a weekend. 
get rid of one of these. I would love if we could do 16 damage, but we'll see what happens. We could do the dice. True. Rolled nothing but fives. Can't use those. Cool. Love it. Gonna heal then. Why is this happening? <laughs> right, chat? What did I do wrong? Why am I being punished? Why am I being punished? We have all these fives. I can't do anything. He's going to hit me for a lot of damage now due to that. Oh, he chose not to set me on fire for some reason. You know what? If he wants to play poorly, I I'll take it. So I could do... I think I could do exactly seven right now. Thank you, Headbutt. Headbutt will just get better and better the more I level. But the downside is it leaves us kind of open. Yeah, Pirate Hook is an okay one to have. I don't mind that. So there's nothing I immediately want to get rid of. Beacon is huge here. Can't do any dice. Let's do some damage. Yeah, let's, let's just get damage out of the way. Wow, come on. Okay, at least he, at least it, it couldn't use all those odds. I guess it could have been worse. But him rolling 6544, I'm like, where's our 6544s? <laughs> right, chat? What is this nonsense? Okay, we're gonna burn a heal. And a shield. And then we're gonna hopefully draw a little better. Holy. I'm about to take a million damage here, chat. I can dupe this. Yeah, redoing a four is huge there. I don't think I want to take damage, because no matter what I do here, it's not going to kill him. I think I could end my turn. Of course. I'm, I might not have a choice now. Actually, I think it's over. We need to draw a better hand. What are these draws? Why? <laughs> come on, am I gonna game over here? Oh, come on. This is painful, chat. I have to hope he doesn't. He drew double sixes, I lose. So, no matter what, I would have died there, by the way, chat. No matter what. Because we rolled super terrible. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I don't expect to win this. This is one of my least favorite challenges for a reason. There's so much RNG on RNG, I don't even know where to begin. So, we, we might be retiring this game forever after this, because I don't feel like dealing with this on long term. But yeah, I, I, if I somehow win in the next two hours, it would be a miracle. The only reason we got further before is that I had no mandatory fights other than like one a floor. And this time we're getting like literally triple mandatory. It's pretty much GG to a run whenever that happens. I have not even come remotely close to surviving a triple mandatory room. Just because of the fact that they could just do so much raw damage. Our designer annoying, yes. <laughs> So it's just like, I don't know. Maybe there's people that enjoy this this level of RNG. I can firmly state I do not. And this is what initially turned me off of the game. I mean, for good reason. I mean, this is just dumb. Like, my ability to win is not in strategy. Like, I have no control over the enemy spawns. So it's like, even if I want to skip an enemy with bad abilities, it's just RNG whether it's skippable. It feels super super terrible yeah let's get rid of poison i guess it's technically better than bop but it requires too much i might be dead here because we're rolling 
pretty bad again. Yeah, we might be dead, depending on what we draw here. <laughs> so I need to somehow do six damage. Wow, come on. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. Well, pray he rolls low. No, I'm dead. Nothing I could do. Literally nothing I could do. Roll a one and a two. Even if I even if I cycled my hand, I needed at least the three to win. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, chat. There's so many layers of RNG to make progress in this game. It's kind of unreal. <clears throat> uh, we're getting rid of a bop immediately, that's for sure. I'm gonna heal to get rid of another bop. I'm gonna go for a new strategy, chat. We'll we'll see if the game lets me. Why am I well now I can't! Come on. Okay, I'm quitting. Stupid. I don't wanna okay, I wanna try something different. But I need to, I need to not take 20 damage in like three turns. Please, I beg of you. I really actually I really want the shovel. Maybe this is okay. I, I don't mind taking some damage for the shovel, to be honest with you. I was going to skip fighting one of the enemies. But I think getting a shovel here is huge. Because sometimes we just need free damage, because we've drawn, like, horrible, horribly abysmal. Yeah, him doing, like, literally 15 damage by only rolling above three. Like, cut me a break. Meanwhile, I'm rolling like one to three, barely. Stupid. Okay, I did want the shovel. His abilities are okay. I don't mind taking both of these abilities. The problem is like, the only strategy I have is basically the first room. Do I just immediately reset if I don't get the right enemy? And then if I do decide to do that, will I be able to delay my level up in such a way that I'm going to win if it goes off. I'm just gonna do that, just to heal. One. Okay, guaranteed kill next turn. I almost, I actually would have died. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, if he had gotten double burned, well, okay. Interesting. I would have game over there. I'm pretty sure. I would have been a, or, or, or at one health, which would have been insane either way. Either way, insane. Okay. No! Oh! Baby squid! Oh! Reset. I'm dealing with this. Come on. Give me a better second floor, please. Horrible. So my healing was locked behind Baby Squid, and I was forced to take a super terrible fight. Alright, let's do this then. Yeah, that was, that was like instant reset. I'm not dealing with that. But sadly, this means I'm not going to get a lot of opportunities to get rid of Bop here. Alright, he finally managed to stop rolling well. Good, I can get rid of something then. Alright, I can get rid of a Bop now. I have some protection at least. Alright, so I can get rid of this. Alright, hopefully we don't get hit by like 5 million damage, but we'll see. It's already not looking good for not getting hit by 5 million damage. So he's dead next turn no matter what here. Oh, come on! Are you gonna force- well now I can't skip. Because I don't think I can win with 10 health, even if I get the healing. Man, this is just so annoying. There's like so many levels of RNG. Okay, what is even on the next floor? Ooh. That's not a good combo. So, 
problem. Dryad is also one that I don't want. I think... I think the right call is to fight the kid to make sure I don't die. If Runaway defeated an enemy, I would be totally okay with that, to be honest with you. But I doubt it does. If so, that would be like the best alternate win condition of all time. So he took my only coin, which blows. I drew no evens for the fireball. Cool, love it. Doing some extra damage. I mean, I might be able to damage race him as long as he doesn't keep drawing sixes. I need him to low roll here, one to three, and I think we'll be okay. Alright, what is- okay. Okay! There we go, that's what I needed. <laughs> Finally RNG that didn't just instantly end the run. Love it. No matter what he does here, he can't leave. I know, the first good RNG so far. Holy. But unfortunately, we're gonna have some potentially terrible cards. We leveled up. I mean, if Runaway lets us actually leave battle, it would be top tier. Flip a dice upside down. That might be something I wanna buy. We, ha we should fight the pirate. Is that, a that gives us healing? Uh, I could just, you know what? I'll just get rid of it, though. Okay, part out of the way. Even, set him on fire. Let's put a shield on. Wow, he rolled basically best possible. Cool, love it. We haven't picked up a lot of damage cards yet, which is a little concerning. We should at least get these. So I need to not go below 10 health, and then I think we'll be fine. Alright, we need to roll like at least a 4 and a 6 or something, and then we'll be fine. We should cannon fire me. Just suck. Okay, there's a 6. Take the damage here. Actually, before I do that, let's heal. Now I'll take the damage. Alright, so we now have damaging moves, so I'm gonna heal. This is like more doable. I still can't buy the spatula. Spatula plus I remember being fun. Yeah, it is unfortunate we didn't get the steal money card. Okay, put burn on her, which is good. As long as she doesn't roll a six at any point, I think we're fine. So she's almost dead already. I don't kill either way, I should just get rid of a boot. Alright, so the, it should die here no matter what. She did roll a 6, which is really unfortunate, because that heals her. Alright, so I have to kill this turn. I almost wasn't able to kill, by the way. That was something. I'll heal out of spite. Thankfully, we will level from this. Poison Slingshot is terrible. Venus Flytrap is really good. I'll take the duplicate. Alright, let's get rid of a card. I'm not messing around. We're getting rid of Poison Slingshot for sure. We cannot afford to draw it. So now we have a way to damage and heal, which is huge, and it's also a free space. 
That's gonna help with our ability to survive. What is this garbage? You really making me fight Baby Squid again? I hate you so much. Why is Baby Squid mandatory? Why was Baby Squid here? Why? Why, chat? Why every time? Why is it here? I don't want to fight Baby Squid. This is so BS. Oh, I level up in three. Do I just go to the next floor? I probably want the chest. Ugh. The problem is, is I can't see what level the other creature is. Is the other creature level two or level three? I guess it doesn't... If it's level two, that does change my path. If it's level three, I'm going to go right, like, right now, before I do anything else. But if it's level two, I should probably kill Baby Squid first. Actually, let's fight the level three, and then I'll regret things later. That might be more doable. Uh, let's definitely do six damage here. I'm gonna put on a little bit of a shield. Okay, that was that was a big turn by us. We did a lot of damage there. Let's get rid of a bop. We need we need to cycle our cards like way faster. Do some damage. I'm gonna get rid of our hand. Uh, that's fine. Duplicated dice is a good start. Our health is looking okay. I have something I can actually duplicate. Let's get rid of a five. Oh, it's open to draw a little better than that. Heal up a little bit. Alright, okay, that's better. I think we win no matter what next turn. If if I somehow can't win with three damage cards and do five damage, I'm calling actual shenanigans. Oh, of course he goes for that for the win. What a jerk. What a jerk. I lost a lot of health, which is not good. What did we get in exchange? Okay. Bump is fine. You're level three. Oh, but can I survive Haunted Jar? I don't think I could survive Haunted Jar. But I also don't think I could get through Baby Squid. I think this is a lose-lose for me, chat. We took a little too much damage from Bully. We have to draw, like, insane here to not die. I mean, that's not a bad draw. We do not have many turns to win this, for clarity. Alright, he didn't draw super crazy, so I have a chance here. Nice value, plus one. Probably bump. You bump the four to a five. That would make sense. Do five damage straight up. Do three damage twice. I could take a safe choice of healing. I think would kind of make sense, because I can't kill it this turn anyway. I could do three damage each turn, which I think is fine. So we're setting up for a win next turn. I should hopefully not get double poisoned here. Yeah, I think we're fine now. I was worried we were going to get double poisoned, because that would have killed us. Potentially. So I do... Three, six, boop. Okay, and we level. The important thing is, and we level. Because now we get an extra dice. I don't really like these cards. The Poison Cloud on three is actually okay. Poison Cloud on one kind of sucks. It's just delayed damage. Poison Cloud on two is okay. Three is ideal, but it's. I'm not going to be wasting investment on it if I don't have to. Do one damage, get a new dice. Blood suck, drain health. As much as I want to start duping cards with Cauldron, I think I just need healing cards. 
be honest with you. I think if we don't get healing, it's just kind of over. Like, I could see a call for why I would get Cauldron, but at the same time, I'm like, I kind of just need to live. Do we have healing after the baby squid fight? Yeah, and I could just do six straight up here, which is good. Just use a one. Get rid of a one. Yeah, Fist, Fist I think is going to add a lot of consistency to our damage. Oh, I'm so glad he low rolled. Get out of here, baby squid. Tired of you. <laughs> right, chat? Get out of here. Oh, it was only a two. That's unfortunate. Let's dupe a six. Yeah, at least we have a dupe already. So, like, for example, this would have healed me two. And then I would have been able to just do a little bit of damage. And I just burn him. Okay. So we have three heal cards. That was pretty much free experience. Can I get rid of this, the ink? No, I can't. If we had one more gold. See, if I'd fought every battle before, I would have been able to get that other upgrade. So that's the punishment. Health looks pretty good. This is the fr I'm immensely disappointed. I am immensely disappointed. I have to get past this super wizard? Uh, I don't think I even go for the upgrades. I'm going to be real with you. Let's see if we even get through the super wizard. That, that'll be the determining factor. If I get through the super wizard, then whatever. All right, let's just do five damage straight up. Let's burn a five here. And I'm going to do damage, damage. Okay, that's good. Dice value plus one. Wow, the freeze. That is painful. That was super bad, chat. Uh, well, at least we got boops. Boop's actually hard putting in the work, chat. Yeah, boop is actually stronger than poison cloud on uh, one, by the way. So poison cloud kind of booty. Ah, uh, you could get extra dice this fight. I don't think it matters as long as you don't. I think we could kill you this turn. As long as we don't draw like super abysmal. So I could do five. Seriously. I just end my turn and he dies. Yeah. That could have been worse, but I also don't see... I don't know how I'm going to get through this. <laughs> like, with all those cards, that is super terrible. I think I have to go to the next floor. I don't see in what world I would get past the Rhino Beetle at not full health. Alright, so there's a lot of healing here. There's a blueprint. All right, if we if we could get if we can level, this is big. Uh, is that our hand? Oh, this hand is brutally bad. Alright, we need to be fast before he activates that. I have no ones or fours, so I'm gonna use a three here. He's weak to fire at least. Man, normally these dice rolls would be amazing, but like I literally can't do anything with them. This is painful. Okay. I'm gonna hope I draw evens here. So he's gonna heal, unfortunately. So he needs to die this turn, or I'm in trouble. Okay, that helps. Again, all these fights could go either way. 
Wicket's Wicker Staff is not bad. I like it more than the cannon thing that we have. We have another heal move. Also, by the way, where is my heal move? Didn't I explicitly pick a heal move so I wouldn't be in this scenario? Am I like hallucinating chat? Did I did I not talk about wanting the heal move? Why have we not drawn the heal move? I mean, now we have all these are horrible like six costers. All right, so if I want to have a chance, I need to be able to beat this creature with our current health total. It might be doable. We're almost at the boss floor. I really want to get the upgrade and then double heal and leave. That would be ideal. I'm not going to fight the Frosty at all. Of course, we have Ink Splat. Okay, I can heal here. Okay, that's actually huge. Oh, of course. Of course. Um... I think I just pay to get this out of my hand. Alright, we're doing okay damage-wise. Poison Cloud is slightly better than Boob, so we'll see what happens here. Let's heal. And our health total's looking okay. Did some good damage. I don't think I can unlock that. Yeah, let's end. So we did half health. We're still above half. So it could be worse. So th this looks doable, at least. Like, we, we put up with a lot of nonsense to get here. But we're doing not tear- Oh, there's Blight. Um, I think this is where we gotta nuke our hand. I don't think I really wanna- Well... I could try once. Alright, we gotta nuke her hand. Ooh, this is super bad. Okay, Fist will maybe hard carry us. If we roll a 1 or a 2, I think we're fine. Actually, 1 or a 2 is not good, because then it freezes. Yeah, we gotta be careful here. Um... Dare I damage race him? I think I do. Alright, so he should die no matter what next turn. Okay. That actually worked out, surprisingly. Oh, get me out of here. He rolled... Yeah, Freeze was actually really good there because he couldn't do his other attacks. So Freeze was actually a pretty good counter to him. I want to keep some of the elementals in our deck to potentially deal with the boss. So this will level us, which is important. So more health. Rolling with lower number is actually not the worst. Destroy a card. We should definitely take the upgrade. Let's suck for better healing. Bump to bump it up. Duplicate. I don't really care about the... Uh, like, improving freeze is not bad. Olimir is just being a generic even might be good. Yeah. It's the problem is we just have so many damn cards now. Healing more health, I don't think, matters. Dodging on odd is okay. I think we just go for Hall of Mirrors. If I draw this, this will help us with the boss fight. Let's see what this is. Now I could copy a card. Um, I probably want to copy Bloodsuck, because we have not gotten that like at all. Or Duplicate. I'm going to copy a Duplicate. There's our dice draw. We have two healings to get through Paper Knight. Alright, so I made one of the six less terrible. And of course we drew an absolutely abysmal one. I think if I do this, I get an extra dice. We could just get rid of this outright. Alright, chat, we got rid of a bad card for the future. <laughs> just 
Just spoilers. She takes extra from fire, which is good for us. Poison's okay here. As I said before, Poison 3 is actually fine. So I can't use Blood Suck or any of these. So this is where Avalanche is useful. So now I can Glare. Ooh. Oh, okay. You know what, chat? You know what? Damn. <laughs> there we go. That shut her down pretty hard. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, she's about to get uh, absolutely devastated. Double headbutt. Or oh, our, our, our hands getting out of control. There we go, chat. Get me out of here. Can't quite use Drain, which is so sad. If only I could use Drain. I don't want to get rid of it. Oh, do I? I don't think I magic trick. But we're going to take so much damage if I don't do this. Oh, I think I got to pay Rifter Staff. I'm going to try to hold on the healing. I'm going to hopefully greet this and survive. I think we're fine. We roll decent. Oh, I get to heal off of that too. There we go. So XP doesn't matter. Arbor Sword I think is okay, but we could get rid of that if we draw it. Lock is fine. Oh my gosh, I actually get to get to the boss. What am I fighting? Audrey? Oh boy. Come on, get RNG. You have one, one magic trick to get through this. Yeah, it's fighting time. Remember, even if you lose, you're still way ahead of the dice you aren't trying. We need dice dupe like immediately. We did not draw dice dupe. Uh, let's get rid of it too. Reroll with lower value. Um. I mean, this is just... Avalanche is just free damage. I might just do this for free damage. And of course, I used the three. Wow, I got punished so hard there. Uh, We'll double headbutt to get it out of our hand. Roll this again. Oh! We got really lucky! <laughs> we got really lucky it rolled! We got so lucky! Okay, poison's huge, actually. That's gonna... That's... <laughs> if it rolled anything else... That would have been bad. I think we could actually win this. I just need to draw better. Let's magic trick our hand, because it's actually tar terrible. Well, I guess while it's still playable, I should at least do this. All right, we, we need to reroll. So I have a heal, I have a freeze, dice value plus one. Let's do that. Do two damage, okay. So we just need to keep doing damage. Line doesn't do anything. I'm gonna hold on to the drain. Lock a, lock a dice, can't use it. Let's prep a delete. That's fine. If she weakens me, this doesn't matter. I'm gonna drain three. That's huge. I'm going to freeze one of her dice. I'm going to dupe a four. Okay. We're going to heal again. I'm going to do more damage again. So she's below half health. This is really good. I can magic trick next turn. Or I can magic trick now. I guess I should magic trick now. I don't really like our hand. Alright, that's, that's a good hand for next turn. So we got rid of one of her sixes, which is huge. Alright, I don't think it matters here. Even if it needs a six, this is fine. Needs a one to lock a dice, okay. Dice lock. Let's do four. Do some damage. I can start paying towards this, but I don't want to activate it this turn. 
So she is really close to being killed. We unfortunately locked the one. It would have been good if that was the six. She's not doing a ton of damage. We're, we're at the same health total. I can magic trick to reset this. I think it might just be better to... Let's let's poke to see what this does. Okay, so she's really close. Reroll with the lower value. Okay. Uh okay. She's getting very close. I need a two. I rolled everything but the two. That is what we'd like to call painful. Reset the hand. I think is she dead? Do we burn two on her? <laughs> Hall of mirrors, please. Come on. I think we win. Holy, I finally got out of this challenge. Yeah, that was the best possible boss I think we could have had. It is theoretically possible, of course, that this wheel is going to spin you up a prize and a path out of the dungeon. So let's spin it. I'm going to enjoy watching your face as you lose. Holy, that was a horrible challenge. Let's never do that again. Yeah, I was like, where where was it like in the 12 draws I had? I mean, I did like, what, three deck resets? I didn't draw it. And then it was only when I had odds. It was the worst. Oh my gosh. Complete the episode named Losers Weepers. Yeah, that was, that was some of the worst draws I've ever seen. Yeah, so we collected the mirror card, whatever. I don't really care. Oh my gosh, can I get out of this super toxic episode? Like, I actually do like the jester. Yeah, chat, by the way, that was 15 different attempts. Holy. Some of these challenges are not built equally, let me tell you. Like, look at all this comparatively. Like, this was the hardest challenge, we led five. Four. The robot one was pretty bad, six. Not even close. So it's the exact characters I remembered last time. Holy. Yeah, that battle was terrible. Let's silently welcome back the Jester. I wonder how it feels for them to fight the brave dungeon creatures. For so long, were their friends and allies? Uh, I probably want this because this is a treasure chest. I don't even remember his gimmick. <laughs> I've, li I've literally been in 17 times more, or at least 8 to 9 times more. Okay, I can see... I don't even remember how his ability works. Matching cards can be used for free this turn. Okay. I, I'm not even kidding you. I don't remember a thing about his gimmick. <laughs> it's been so long. Oh no. Um, so if I discard the boobs, does this do damage? Oh no, it just gets rid of them so I can move on. Okay. I, legit, legitimately, we have not done it in so long. Okay, let's get rid of those. I mean, I kind of wish he... I mean, I understand why that gimmick doesn't work. Oh, that's painful. A six damage move. Uh, I would like to heal more then. It just end my turn. I don't really. Oh, come on. He really drew another six. <laughs> Unfortunate. Alright, how does Snap work? Matching cards can be used for free. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, so his discard just lets me cycle. Um, then I discard. I think it really matters. I'm gonna take a ton of damage here, no matter what. Maybe Chester's gimmick is it to steal cards, yeah. Juggling ball. Oh, new dice. Yeah, where was juggling ball, by the way? That would have made life way better. I mean, I think I just snap. Oh, that's not quite how I thought it worked, but that's fine. 
We've learned for the future. My bad. So then it becomes the use duplicate cards once I activate the power. That's fair. Uh, juggling ball, goodbye. I do like juggling ball. It's just free damage. Oh. Ashmas shield, do shield. It's doubles. Flame blast, deal six for each burning enemy dice. I think I'd rather take deflect. <laughs> what the hell is this? I guess I'll go, guess I'll go this way first. <laughs> See if it's easy. Perish. Block two damage. I mostly just want to get rid of these. Oh, that doesn't do what I think it does. Oh, I thought I misread the card. I thought when you combine the doubles, it was going to do X damage and shield, not it does your shield damage. Oh, that's not good then. Oh. I don't want these. I think that's the first time we've come across that card, to be fair. Seriously, he rolled double fives. Wow. That could not have gone any worse, to be honest with you. At least I can heal. Oh my gosh, it actually did something. What a miracle. There's 100,000% waiting going on with these enemies. That was like the miracle draw. Uh, Boop is okay. I don't really care about Bop. Reflect is not worth upgrading. Juggling Ball is okay. Only doing even with Shield Bash isn't terrible, but like, do I really want to dedicate a whole card to it? I don't think I could get rid of the card. I guess if I can't get rid of the cards... This would be easier to do. I don't think I want to heal unless I really have to. Let's try to beat it with 20. If you offer greater cards, does it count as a duplicate for snap? I believe it does. Uh... Let's heal up so we can maybe get an ability again. <laughs> wow, chat. These these rolls, though. Can we have a big oof in the chat for these rolls? Actually terrible. Um... Let me pop the ability, then I could do two, then I can activate, I have four shields. That does four. Then I can heal, then I could boop, then I could bop. Okay, I think I played that well. It, it's nice when your power isn't just reset your hand, aka the worst power ever. <laughs> just like, like, see how much easier this is compared to the other one? It's like night and day how horrible that other one was. It was just actually abysmal. Like, bump, amazing, absolutely. Iron shield, add a shield. Okay, I mean, we're kind of committing. I could destroy a card. I'm kind of okay with this. We have a theme going. I guess I might as well expand on the theme. Reduce damage taken. Ooh. Discard matching cards, please. Two shield is not great. Gotta make baby hurt. Yeah, can you please stop rolling high fours? 
Roll like just twos. That would be fine. It'll be good for your health. I don't know what the dice is. Oh, the reroll dice is also hidden. Hmm. So it's still less than three. Oh no, it isn't. I don't know what it was then. Get an extra dice. Two to six. I would like to get to the deflect. Let's do this. Get some shield. Shield bash for four. That kind of works. Okay, finally didn't roll evens. We're good. And I actually kept my shield total, which is interesting. Let's just get rid of one of these. Okay, that that was the most inoffensive roll we've seen so far from the game. Um, I don't think I could kill this turn. Or no, yeah, I can. Never mind. Three damage here. Because I was gonna say I didn't know what the mystery dice was, but we had another Bob. Yeah, like night, like chat. I'm ending battles on harder difficulty at full health. That's all you have to know about that other challenge. Encore. Take an extra turn once per battle? I mean... I don't... I don't think I could say no to that, chat. Why would I say no to that? I think I can. Hey, Kirk. Hope you're doing well. We finally got past the Garbo tier challenge. <laughs> chat witnessed the struggle. And let me be very clear. It was a big struggle. I probably want to get rid of Bop. Because this card is kind of dead. Eventually, I'd like to get rid of all, all the Bops. It took over 15 attempts, by the way, Kirk. If you were curious, it was abysmal. <laughs> like, just like actually, actually trash. Uh, let's do some damage. Keep the dice. I can make this a six for the shield. Alright, hopefully she doesn't do a lot of damage here. We'll see what happens. So she'll probably cauldron. Lowered her damage. Not sure why she rolled with the six, to be honest with you. So she did hit a little bit. Could be worse. So do free damage. Get a dice back. Heal. It's nice that Sweets also goes towards Shield Bash, technically. So we're making progress. We we wounded her. She didn't do very much. Our Snap is coming back. So now we can start using our dupes, regardless of our dice. But the problem is, is I don't really have a duplicate here. Um... I'm gonna use the sweets. I'm gonna deflect. Next turn, I think I'll have a big turn. Her freeze is actually really annoying me because I can't do what I want due to that existing. So she might win at this rate. So I'm not drawing what I need to draw. Like, this is pretty terrible. Like, this is a super dead hand. Can't even discard anything. This is painful. Um, I can't duplicate anything due to freeze. I'm gonna do that to get rid of this. This is such a bad draw. The problem is, like, I didn't realize she had freeze. I think it's over. I, I can't beat that. I need her to just do Infliction, but she won't do it. Yeah, I think it's over. Yeah, this was a pretty hard counter to this deck. Like, see, like, I can't even get started because everything is such a minimum cost. 
though. Even if I pop my special here, it doesn't do anything. Mm, that's kind of unfortunate. Alright, so we, we have to be aware that we should not do Sorcerer unless I have something to counter freeze. Because, like, I, I did find the first turn, but then, like, if I don't get another turn with dice, it's just kind of over. So we'll keep that in mind. She's a she's a run ruiner. The other enemies were pretty easy. Also, I probably won't go for shield going forward, knowing that that doesn't do the thing that I think it does anyway. So a combination of those things will help significantly. Okay, let's do something like this. It does eight damage? It's kind of insane. I'll make it out of here. Oh, I should have healed. That was a misplay. It's fine, though. What do we get here? I mean, I like Juggling Ball. Also, where was Juggling Ball in our previous hand? That would have helped significantly. Um, damage, damage, damage. He's almost dead. Fortunately, he didn't draw triple sixes, which I have seen before. It made me very sad when it happened. Speaking of very sad, how come I keep drawing such high cards? I mean, he shouldn't be able to kill me. So he could do the damage all he wants here. <laughs> do you see what I mean? What, like, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, fortunately, it didn't matter there. Actual nonsense. I mean, like, you can't make that stuff up, chat. Detonator, do one damage for every one poison on an enemy. Do freeze damage. Plus three if enemy is frozen. I probably want... Go. Mm. I guess I'll go for Frozen. As long as we don't fight the Sorceress, I think we're fine. Ooh, it's a weird choice to make. Wizard's not that bad. So we'll do Wizard first. Let me do something like Sweets for Health. We're gonna snap. Damage. Damage. Yeah, like Ice Shatter is actually a pretty good generically strong ability. I'm kind of okay with that. Ooh, double frozen, so all I could do is one. I mean, he's gonna counter freeze us. I don't really care if he all wants me here. I don't think this matters. Yeah, because I, I can still do damage and other things when that happens. I mean, I could force him to keep freezing me every turn. I think I'm going to get rid of these, though. Oh, uh, four is unfortunate. Oh. You, you chose to get more dice instead of hitting me? Uh, okay. Stupid. <laughs> right, chat? Like, you could have had the vengeance shot, but, you know, whatever. Okay, what's in the chest? Spatula? I guess. Upgrade. Um. Double, double damage on that is kind of nice. Wish we had another duplicating card. Boop is okay. Boop, boop is boop. Getting free damage is actually not bad. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on. With my ability with boop, does that mean I just get a free dice when I use my special? Hmm. Does it? It technically pays for it. I wonder if that dupes a six. I think it's worth testing, because that is actually pretty game-changing, if that's how that works. So, like, I can, So, this is just free damage, which is nice. So, three shield is not bad. Oh. 
Even if he weakens me here, I don't really care. Do six straight up. Do four. Freeze the dice. Just let him hit me, but I don't think it really matters. I was gonna say, I didn't feel like he was gonna do odds anyway. I, so we negated two of his damage. Guess that's fine. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Hopefully he roll. Gonna say hopefully he rolls a six. That's what I was gonna say. Is he rolls a five? Um. I'm gonna prove this into a five. Get rid of that. Alright, so... Oh, but I don't have another boop to test. Oh, I do have another boop to test it. Let's let's witness, chat. What does this do? Does it give me a free dice? It does. Oh, see, that's important to know. I'm glad we tested that. I am super, super glad we tested that, chat. So that's actually huge. We have another way to dupe dice. And again, that's just another way that this is better than the other thing that we were doing. And this does 9 damage. Nasty. Yeah, I kind of like that. Take a dupe. Grand finale, do 15 damage. Um... Kind of like the double turn more than this one. I don't know if I... The only reason I would pick this up is for a challenge. Just to say that we did it. Finale card... Play every card in a single turn to use. Uh oh. Does that mean it's just in our deck? And then... N no. What? Why would I want to play this? Like, I know it does 15 damage, but like, I have to play every card in a single turn? I don't think I picked this up. I'm gonna be real with you. At least not right now. That does not sound fun. That sounds more like an achievement. Like, if I had to guess, like, you would do that just specifically to get an achievement and then nothing else. Yeah, let's flip this up. Get a free six back. Get some shields. Shield again. Now, I, I don't know about that one, Chief. The double turn was like, okay, I feel like that's worth it, right? Like, if you get another turn, you're going to be doing way more than 15 damage. I mean, if you can play that many cards to do it, the, the payoff felt like it was there. That card? Hell no. Why would I play that? You're out of your mind. I might get rid of Snowflake and still keep the other one. I don't know. Not a big fan of the, the damage card here. Oh, there's a dupe. Um. So if they do get forced to use snap, we have like the almighty hand combo. So if he wants to do damage, now's his chance. I think this is where we hard punish him. So I could do nine damage off of this. Damn, chat. That's mean. Goodbye. The punish. <laughs> I was like, go ahead. Build me meter. All right, chat. Watch what happens. Oh, lament. Okay. I think I kind of want that, right? More freeze damage. It's, it's going with the cards that I actually selected. Maybe the game actually keeps track of what I do. Maybe that's not entirely random. I mean, that just makes Ice Shatter our big payoff, and we just have another guaranteed freeze. We have two heals. We have a character that's just absolutely going to get stomped into oblivion. Okay, and then we can punish him for existing. But we have to roll a six. Hmm. So I think what I want to do is this. I'm going to use the spatula to get the six. Which is huge. He only has one dice. So I'm just going to juggling ball. And then I'm going to do boop. 
That is brutal for him. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you roll a six? I don't think so. So all I gotta do is just... freeze him. Oh, what a shame, chat. <laughs> See, this is called... This is abuse. Now I feel like I could do strategies. Although we drew, we rolled pretty terribly here. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Damn. I can't even duplicate due to how it did it. That blows. On the plus side, he's almost dead. On the downside, this is just kind of a waste of turns. Okay, we can discard the bops, which I do want to do. The next turn, he should die. He can't escape no matter what next turn, so even if I can't kill him here, the freeze shut him down super hard. Now we could do the six. Now I could juggling ball. I can flip it too, because it's funny. And I froze him out of spite. So that was just free XP. I think we could agree that was free XP. Nudge, dice value minus one. Um. Do I actually need that in this deck? Do I have like a max other than juggling ball? I don't think I want to do that, to be honest with you. I If it was a dupe, I would have picked it up. Most of the time we, I mean, it would make like our odd number even, but like, don't, I don't know. I mean, I could try it, but like, what if I just roll ones or I get frozen? That's why I think like the plus one makes more sense because not only is it dice duping, but it still fixed the odds even problem. I might also just skip it to be honest with you. Two dice. Get rid of these. We're doing some serious damage to him. Get rid of these. So we're forcing him to have a one. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, because I don't remember his gimmick. Let's see if that was bad or not. Oh, he needed it. Oh. That's unfortunate. I did not remember his gimmick, to be honest with you. I did not remember his gimmick. I would not have frozen him had I realized that. Uh, oh well. I mean... I might as well just freeze... Oh. I only have even numbers. That blows. If I get rid of these two, I can freeze him. Then I could flip this upside down. And then just absolutely blast him. Ooh, what a good play. What a good play. Misplay into one shot. Choose a reward. Discard current hand. Warrior smash damage. Live damage plus one per bop. Oh, so I get like a new passive ability? Oh, I love bop. Wait, is bop the... Wait. No, that's not fair. There's boop and bop. Which one's bop? Is bop the yellow one or is bop the... the... The one that's free. I don't like that the names are so similar. This actually matters. Bop is yellow. Uh oh. Uh... I mean, it is free five damage. It is free five damage, though. How much do I... Mm... Yeah, let's take Warrior Smash. I I'm gonna take the free damage. Ooh, hammer. See, okay, remember this chat? I was just talking about this. Bump is absolutely worth it. I'm buying that for sure. Hammer I won eventually. Let's fight copycat. He may copy my abilities, but most of my cards are terrible. Wait, how do I use the smash ability? Oh, you can see the enemy moves. My bad. It was just kind of on the bad background. Um, 
Return the dice. See, most see my moves are so terrible that I don't care. <laughs> right, Chad? It's like it's one of those things where I'm kind of like, okay, copy my moves. My cards are terrible. Okay, freeze them once. I think this one okay. I ended up with the shield. We destroyed his five. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, okay. <laughs> Copy can't, can't do anything to Jester. I'm like, joke's on you. My cards are trash. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're in my world now. I don't care what you have, fool. Oh man, let's freeze a dice because it's funny. Oh. Okay, so I can make this do- Oh, so we still have to draw it. But it is free. I don't think that's okay. Um, I probably want to use sweets. I mean, can he even do damage to me? I mean, he could return the dice. Really? He rolls way better than me, chat. I'm jealous. Where are my rolls like that? Do I even bother snapping? I don't think I do. We're gonna use a one here. And we're gonna use a six. And that freezes him. And then we're gonna do six more damage. Like I could duplicate, but I think I'd rather just take the damage here. To be honest with you, I can heal next turn. As long as he doesn't like instantly defeat me, which yeah, he didn't. And then I get rewarded. So, that felt good. I healed two. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. Can I even keep my snap? That's kind of worth it. I know you are, but what am I? Says copycat. Well, you're dead. That's what you are. Yeah, bump is kind of nice. Yeah, see, look at all this chat. I'm not worried at all. Again, this is a much easier run. I might get shock. Anything that causes, like, status ailment damage, I know it, like, stops our combo, technically, but the more we level, the less that matters. I think I go here. So let's go get a free boop upgrade. Yeah, because this this is dice duplication, just for clarity, whenever I pop my super. But I think I want that, unless this one has multiple use. Also duplicates. Uh... Actually, I think it's better just to use boop. That way we have hard cycling. Um, the sorceress is gonna be a problem. I probably want to so three or uh So she's gonna freeze a lot, but I have a lot more control. Oh, it's oh it eight damage plus one per bop. Oh, so this scales. So this went from 5 damage to 8 damage. Oh. That's actually good. Guess I'll fight her and see how things go. I do have a snap, so I might be able to kill her instantly, depending on how this goes. Yeah, like, this is a character I'm not messing around with, chat. Like, this character needs to die. This will give me a dice back. Which is why that's powerful. So if I could get through two more, I could duplicate dice again. But I think I could do that. So let's get a heal. And we're gonna freeze. Because no matter what, she's gonna re-roll the dice. But the difference here is that I can match. And get a card back. I can shock her now. I want to. Which I might want to do. Do I want to do nine damage or shock her? I think I want to shock her. The less she could freeze, the better. Well, I got rid of one of her abilities instantly. Oh, of course it shocked the affliction. Oh wait, she didn't get freeze this time. She only got earth. Oh, I don't care about earth at all. Right, I, I was worried she was gonna have freeze. If I realized she had earth, I should have checked. I didn't even realize that would rotate. Um, so I could roll downwards if I want to. 
And I think I actually do. Because then I can dupe the six. And then juggling ball the one. Okay. Ooh! So every time I use a bop, it just gets stronger and stronger. Permanently? Chat. Hell yeah. Scaling damage? Hell yeah. Good choice. <laughs> right, chat? Perfect. Doesn't even cost the dice. That is actually huge. I mean, basically doing a seventh of the boss's health at this point already. Perish. No mercy. No mercy. Yeah, that was way... Okay, that went really well. Guess I should... Like, so I could dupe another card if I go up there. I probably want to dupe Boops. Because the more I could do... Or I could dupe a... Uh, I could dupe a dupe. It wouldn't be a bad thing to dupe a Lament either. Because we're pretty likely to go into it. Maybe I dupe a Bump? Can you dupe Warrior? That's a good question. If I could, that would be very silly. Wow. Wow. Look at this hand chat. Oh, look at the damage. Look at the damage. Oh, oh, what a shame. Oh, where'd your health go? What happened? Oh, you would have health already? Oh, that's so sad. Actually wrecked. I don't really care if you poison me. I already healed. Curse is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Other abilities, don't really care about. Oh, so I could boop and kill this boss like nearly instantly. I think I go for it. I need to get rid of this. Oh, we got kind of unlucky with the, the rolls there. We, our, our deck did not behave. We rolled enough cards, but none of them... If I could get through two more, which I can't... Ugh, that's kind of bad. We needed, we needed the duplicate to be one higher. That's fine though, I guess. Wait, you chose not to curse me? Why? Why would you do that? Well, then you're just a fool. I mean, I'm going to try to get healing then, if you're going to let me do that. I can make it a 2 if I need to. Does that matter? I can maybe get to a sweet without killing it. This, this is what I'm contemplating right now. Yeah, I could do that. No, never mind. I killed no matter what. Unless I discard to try to get to sweets. Which is very greedy, but also very funny. I'm gonna do it. And then I can use Bop again to level up Warrior. Hell yeah. More power. The greediest of plays. Can you dupe Warrior? You can, but it starts at zero. I don't think that's worth it then. Um, What do I want to double? Do I want to juggle double juggling balls? I think I do. Because now this potentially can get duplicated, and then paying this for free is like the other ability. I think I want that. Oh, total's looking okay. Plus one dice. Oh, I could get another bump? Wait, I can dupe a bump? Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. That is... That's very strong with our character. So most of our abilities are dupable now. So we're gonna do this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> right chat? Uh oh. That immediately paid off. Big uh oh for the enemy chat. Big yikes. That was such a big turn already. We're not even remotely done with our turn. Ooh. I could shock you too. 
That is brutal. Oh, we didn't draw a good order there, sadly. I could freeze him again. Freeze all of his cards. Juggling ball. New fiends have oh. a future. Oh, does Warrior Smash reset every time you use it? Oh. Oh, I wish I knew that. Hmm. That's a little unfortunate then. I don't think that was very clear on the ability. I think we could all agree there. That was not clear. Yeah, that's way less useful. Damn, chat. That shut him out so hard. Yeah, that would have changed my approach slightly had I realized that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna choose not to warrior smash then. Yeah, that that's kind of a non-bow then. Oh, I thought it just stacked forever, because that would have been amazing. But it just stacks once? I don't know about that. Kinda lame. Alright, we should level up from this at least. Borrow equipment, get random equipment. Um... I guess Thief is okay. We'll, we'll, we'll put Thief in the deck, I guess. What does this do? Freeze, shock, shock. Hell no, get out of my deck. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, you're not even doing damage? Get out of here. No. Don't need that many more. Especially one-offs of just shock. That's pretty bad. Alright, so I might be able to one-shot this boss depending on what we get here. Juggling ball. I think this might be worth using because I get a free bump. Yeah, let's try it. Another six. I'm gonna get another boop. I can shock as well, which is brutal. Unfortunately, those are the boops that don't do anything. I could yoink. Get a random crystal weapon. I'll think about it. Flip a one into a six. Freeze again. Wow. Thou shall only receive ones. What a turn. Thank you, Rixian, for resubscribing. Hope you're doing well. Oh, uh, if only we had one less thing in between the boops. I mean, I guess I could warrior smash for one. I'm not gonna lie. This, is, this has been a nasty turn. Look at this. The power of boop chat. You think our turn is over? Damn. What a turn. Almost one shot. And all of his dice is useless. Look at that. Slap. <laughs> Goodbye. It's like you weren't even in here. You were just a free win. Brutal. Brutal. All that cost was a meter? Okay. <laughs> All right, chat? Okay. And then I could dupe another card after this. Hopefully we get that kind of look back to back again, because that was very silly. Let's do some big damage here. Uh, I probably want something like this. 
Okay, getting rid of the four is big. So then I'd roll a six there, but didn't roll it. I could roll this. And plus one. And plus one again. Then I get juggling ball. Return the dice, sure. Oh, thief isn't just a one-time thing, it's permanent. Oh. Again, that would have been really good to know before I did that. I, I feel like I'm being punished for not knowing card abilities that aren't described. Because I wouldn't have picked this if I thought I had to... if I didn't get Thief back. Do you know what I mean? Like, would have that would have changed how I would have played the game. Alright, we got rid of the five, which is good. We almost have Snap. Sadly, if that gave me Snap, he would have died, but we didn't get it. Four dice. Two damage. Put we'll one into a six. Dupe the dice if I want to. Yeah, we, we ran like a super dry hand. That's unfortunate. Heal so I take less damage. Freeze. I guess that's okay. Probably for the best that I did that. Alright, so we should go for a kill here, I think. If I'm able to do so. Yeah, let's go for the kill. We get a dice back. We could do enough damage to kill already. I don't even need to improve this. I did take some damage there, so fortunately there's at least some healing I could do. Might as well as full heal. Then I can dupe and then fight one more time. Sadly we don't have a lot of fire. Yeah, our hand here is looking kind of dead, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think I do this and hope we get a better draw next turn. Okay, I got rid of a six, which is probably for the best. Even if we get locked here, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna freeze again. Do damage to draw it. Do this to flip. Okay, let's hope we draw something a little better. We're gonna activate. The duplicate coming up. Interesting. What is this, maybe? I can do a shock. I can freeze. And I can bop. If only we drew another boop. Would have been big. Get rid of this because it cycles. Get rid of this. Alright, so next turn I think we got a kill. No evens. Even if they lock me here, it doesn't really matter. Should still be able to do this. Oh wait! Wait, the crystallized weapon goes away if I don't use it. Oh, come on. Okay, so that's two things the game probably should have told me. That messes up my turn. I was just gonna do a free... Okay, whatever. Right, chat? I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. There's just kind of... Whatever at that point. I'm about to take big damage now. All sixes, huh?
How did I not draw a single damage ability? Actually insane. Good damage, get a dice back. At least we're healing for the next fight. I could flip a four upside down. Dupe this. I was hoping to get another heal ability, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I guess I'll just freeze for disrespect. And then murder. I mean, I got a little bit of health back, but it's still- we're still in a scary spot. Alright, so I can dupe something. What do I want to dupe? I don't want to dupe Crystallize. Yeah, I wish I knew that earlier. Juggling Ball, we just can't seem to draw for some reason. Um... I could dupe a Hammer, which is not bad. I could dupe the Bumps, which is also not terrible. Maybe I dupe the bumps? Or I could just dupe the dupe. Yeah, let's dupe the dupe. That way we can duplicate it, maybe, on occasion. We're gonna do this to hopefully level and not die. Uh, I'm gonna plus six this. Another six. Six. Do some freeze. Do some damage. Do a freeze again. So I think he needs to draw double sixes. I don't remember if double... I should have checked if double ones would help him. Okay, no, that's good. That was absolutely the right call. I should probably check them before I do that. We're about to get a dupe again. Let's get rid of our one. I could survive a hit, maybe. Return the dice. I don't have any odd numbers. Now let's hope we draw a little better next time. Good warrior smash just because to get rid of it. Hopefully that gets rid of crystallize. Wow, he just rolled the six. That's unfortunate. Uh, I could be dead next turn. We drew really terribly. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so freeze is gonna help. I could flip something upside down. Just stall. I could return a three. I can heal. I could get another dice. I could crystallize. Man, this is bad. We we drew a really dead hand. I might be dead here. Just due to how bad that was. Like, yeah, that kind of screwed me. I could be dead here if he draws a six. Oh. <laughs> right, chat just oh my gosh, I should have been dead. Um, next turn guarantee he's gonna kill me. So I'm gonna do juggling ball maybe. Get rid of a two for juggling ball. Yeah, we we have to snap here or I die. That gives us more dice. I can pump our damage. I can dupe a five. So I could kill him right now. I'm just deciding if it's worth overkilling. I don't think I could get... Can I get to that other buff without killing him? I don't know if I can. I don't want to use the warrior. Okay. Yeah, that worked. Now we built up some power on the warrior for later. More importantly, we're now at max level. And got another duplicate. Hello, Buster, who does a lot of burn damage. Which might not matter for me if I'm always constantly duping our abilities. We'll see. Might have been a mistake to fight the other thing. Oh, hey, do you like sleeping or fighting more? My favorite thing is to fight in my dreams, so I can do both at once. 
We don't have a lot of fire attacks, fortunately. Let's do a five. Wish I had a six there. That would have been big. Oh, speaking of which. Doop a five. So it's already taken some big damage. Breeze if I want to. I probably do. Oh, I should have used the five. That was a mistake. Um, I guess we'll see if it matters. I could just reduce Crystallize now. So it's actually usable next turn. Okay, the Freeze was really good against him. He only burned one dice. Okay, another freeze. That's good. Hmm. I'm gonna take the burn damage and heal just to get it out of our hand. I think that's the right play. Got rid of another five. So that, again, freeze right now is kind of hard countering him, which makes sense. The dragon likes to burn. I like to freeze. So now we have our Jester ability, so if I could get, like, good combos, but unfortunately we have no synergy with any of the upcoming cards. I'm gonna Warrior Smash to get it out of our hand. I could maybe reach Boop in two more cards, but is it worth doing? I mean, there is a Boop Plus. Should probably freeze. I could save it for next turn. It might make more sense to wait for next turn. Well, I mean, he's going to build me meter anyway. Actually, yeah, he's going to build me meter anyway. I might as well just activate. So I could get another bot by flipping the one into a six. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's better I just do damage then. Get another boop. If I plus one, I get another dice. Alright, so now now it's going in such a way that it's useful. So if I could get three more cards, I could get to duplicate. So this should be easy, because I dupe a dice there. You get another card here, which is huge. And I can freeze. Oh my. <laughs> so duplicate gives you two? Oh no, oh no, chat. I actually would have been able to finale this boss. Holy. I actually would have been able to finale. Man, if we got that extra turn one, oh, that would have been like GG if, it, if I got that extra turn one, chat. Holy, this boss is getting dunked on. Look at this, I have dice. I can't even do anything with them. Actual madness. We're off by one card. The, the 15 damage would have done something. Wow. So sad, chat. We finally got good RNG. <laughs> wow. He just got shut down hard. Goodbye. I know. Oh, well, we could have gotten the achievement. You know what we did get? Death via juggling ball. That's pretty shameful. Jester, aren't you doing well? Of course, you've had so much practice fighting in these dungeons. If you didn't do well, you'd be even more of a disappointment than you already are. Wanna chant a little bit before we spin? Spin the wheel, remember? Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. One day we'll get that car a chance. Bad luck there, buddy. Maybe you should have chanted harder. Okay, so we unlock the skeleton. Cool. So we're actually almost done. We're almost at the bonus round one. I at least want to see... Excuse me, what that is. Status effects work differently. All equipment has changed. Oh boy, chat. The bonus round is potentially horrible. Well, let's all fall silent for the Jester once again. Let's ignore how pleased they look with themselves. I'm Jester. I'm always pleased with myself. Oh, no. I expect you of all people to know how likely it is you'll fail. 
How improbable it is that you and your new pals can thwart fate and chance and entropy. Still better to try anyway, right? And if it doesn't work this time, we'll try again. And again and again. Until it does. Yes, people say the same thing about the lottery, I believe. You should really know better after all this time. But I suppose you don't have any other options. So in you go. We're going straight for Murder Central. Do one damage, plus one for each Kapal use this turn. Interesting. Do three damage, snap three at once to gain fury. Whoa, okay, so this is already really different than the normal deck. Um, So Kapals are just worse ver- Wait, so Kapals are just legitimately worse versions of the other cards. Unless I play more than two. That kind of sucks. Sour Candy just does damage instead of healing. Which I don't think I want. Um... Yikes. I guess I could have played that a little different. Alright, let's heal up then. I'll kill you with Kapow, because it's more shameful. Ooh, yeah, our deck is... really bad? I think this is the only time I've seen an alternate universe where the cards were, like, just straight up a downgrade. Like, yes, this is good with Snap, like, Blamo, I think, is good, but Kapow is super bad. So in instead of costing min three, I need, to s I need to play at least three for it to do as much as the other one did. That's really bad. And I also lose shield. I don't really want that, to be honest. Gumball Machine, recover health, get a new dice. Okay. I have a card dupe. And we drew no synergy at all. So I guess if I use two abilities, I could Kapow. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. It, kill, it dies anyway. The next section, but disable it next turn. High Jinx, reduce all Jinx cooldowns by one. I, I don't... But I don't know what slap... What slap sees? Wait, I don't know what any of these cards do. How is this fair? Wait a minute. Game, come on. Why am I not allowed to see what the other cards do? That kind of influences what I want to do. You know, I guess I'll go Wolf Wolf. I don't know. Yeah, like what happened to them like giving me clear instructions? Like now I'm just, I just have to guess what the cards do. Deals five damage, maintains fury. Okay, but like I, I wanted to see what the main, like I don't care about like the core card. Whatever. I mean, pay three, deal five is just a better version of what we had before. So I'm glad we did this, because it's like having Kapow from earlier. I don't want the thing to turn into a bear. That's the one that's scary. I think there's a... I think you could get a hidden character by stealing the bear potion, by the way. I guess I'll pop my ability. Damage and dead. Okay. Wasn't too bad. 
Big moment. Play every card in a single turn, do seven damage to use this this turn. I mean, I'll take it. Return to return to the difference between two dice. I don't know if I want that. I don't think I do. I don't think that is any synergy with what we have. To come bear, exactly. Yeah, so we have really high damaging moves, which is nice. And then I could just get rid of Kapows, because they are pretty bad. Yeah, that might work. Not enough to get snapped, sadly, there. So I think I'm just throwing away Kapow every time. So I have literally no reason to keep it. So he's almost dead. I seem to hope he doesn't roll like super insane here. Alright, so he chose death. But I also... I also drew really poorly? What the heck is this? Um, I think I have to snap here, sadly. Oh, actually, no, that didn't enough. I miscounted. No, I... No, I don't want to split dice. Ew. No, none of my cards work if it's below three. Wait a minute. Uh... Don't... I don't like any of these upgraded? Wolf Wolf at 4 might be okay. Maybe? I mean, that makes that card usable. Better than it not being usable. Reroll a dice maintains fury. Hmm. I don't know why it wants me to split a lot of dice. Is that how it thinks I'm gonna do? Because, like, all my things have a min. That's the problem. Like, everything costs 3, so splitting doesn't really help me. Don't... Well, I don't know if they thought that one through, to be honest with you. Yeah, like what like why would I want to return the difference of two dice? So we have a minimum of three on three of our moves, a max of three, which would help with gumball machine in theory. Everything else costs three. Subdivide is even, this costs four. So we have like literally no synergy with it. I think that's why I'm confused. Maybe if I chose another route, that would have made more sense. But like that has Literally no synergy. Like, here, I guess it would have done something, maybe. So I guess I could do... Damage. Damage. Snap. That's a lot of free damage. And sadly, I didn't get what I was looking for here, so we're gonna just pay two. Do what we need to do here. So half to sell. Four or less. And he can't even attack me. That's a good turn. Um. So here's the problem. I guess splitting a dice would have been useful here. Then I could just do this. Oh, that didn't give me... Okay, well, I'm gonna split the dice. Guess that works. Oh, he rolled really terribly. That's good for us. I don't have to heal much then. So we basically just got like a partially leveled snap, which I'm okay with. I'm gonna shame kill him with Kapow. Like again, this is going much smoother. I mean, I guess I could humor the game and try this. I guess in theory, it might come up once if I need to dupe dice. Ooh, do I copycat him? Our cards are pretty trash. Yeah, I think I copycat him. <laughs> like, like, wait a minute. Like, like, go ahead, copy my equipment. I don't really care. Hmm. 
Oh, I could have discarded earlier. That's fun. Wait, he could just use big... Wait, he could just use big moment without qualifying for it? What a cheater! What a cheater, chat. What, what an absolute cheater. Excuse me. What? Actual nonsense. Wah. I know. Wah, indeed. Whoa, this looks bad. Oh, I sorry, I thought that was duplicate. My bad. That was a big misplay. I mean, I could still recover this, but I wasn't really thinking. I'm gonna blame being tired on that one. Ah, uh, that's fine. My bad. I, for some reason, I thought that was like the duplicate. Yeah, how come he gets to do big moment? That's not fair. So I got punished for having big moment in my deck? Seriously? I hate that so much, chat. Can't even begin to describe to you how much that annoys me. Stupid. Yeah. Uh, so let's get some healing. So he's dead no matter what here. It's just more annoying that that happened. I could subdivide because I can. I could hit him with Blammo. If I want to. Yeah, that's... Again, that would be really good to know that, that he just ignores the condition normally needed to use the card. Because I'm like, oh, he just can't use it. On a one instead return two ones. Okay, that makes a little more sense with our other cards. I guess I'll take it. Yeah, I just feel like I'm kind of just getting cheated randomly. I don't really feel like this is like, like, oh, you didn't read the card. It was like, we had one moment like that so far today. Every other one was just, oof. Right, so we're even in health, which is not great. He's going to cannon fire me, which is probably for the best. Because that did not double hit me, at least. And I can roll a dice. I'm going to re-roll a one. Because for the... Mo yeah, so Vice Grip really doesn't do anything, then. It unless I upgrade it, then maybe it does something useful. But right now, that card is actually just straight, legit, a dead card in my hand. I really don't like that... I'm not drawing... I'm not getting good dice rolls. Yeah, I might be dead here due to bad dice rolls. Like, there is nothing I could do with this chat. This is bad. I could try to do this to get rid of it. The turn four into the same number doesn't super help me. Even if I get to Kapow here, I don't think this matters. I think I've lost, sadly. We, we got a really bad turn order, so I'm going to try to not do anything too crazy. We really need a better roll. Game, please. <laughs> right, chat? That's definitely a game, please moment. Okay, so I could get rid of the six. We're going to snap it. I drew literally... Okay, I could get two ones. Okay. I I have gotten nothing that combos with itself. This is painful. This is painful. How am I not getting anything to do? I can't even use subdivide. Healing doesn't help me. At least we could blammo here. I swear, chat. I, I don't know. The other one definitely felt like a mistake. Copy a random item in from your deck. And an extra card to your hand this turn. Hmm. Um. Maybe? I think I'd rather have multi-card if it's between those choices. If nothing else, it just gets a card out of the way for dupes. So if I get rid of a four and a three, do you give me two ones? Is that what you do? I think before doing that, I should roll the dice. 
Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Let's witness. Yeah, so I don't really like that ability that much. We'll get rid of these, unless I feel like doing four damage. Actually, yeah, let's just get rid of these. Get rid of these, discard these. The way next turn we can maybe get two ones. Yeah, that card just doesn't look good, and I, I guess I was right the first time. It didn't look good at all still. So maybe if we draw well here, like Lollipop... Did you seriously hit the only card that I wanted to use? So annoyed, chat. <laughs> this is the one that was gonna do, but now there's literally no point to using it at all. So I'm just gonna choose not to attack with it. Oh, you have to reduce it or take it. Okay, th well that's fine then, I guess. Still annoying. Woof woof. I do three, one. Three for ten damage. Alright, uh, that was big damage. Do. If I had snap, see this. This also makes snap a little easier to do for things like blammo. I don't regret our other choice. Yeah, let's end our turn. That was good damage. Unfortunately, I'm about to get double poisoned. Oh, wait, he dump. Oh, he couldn't improve the poison. Poison 4, I don't think matters at all then. We just need to do damage. We can get rid of the Kapows. This will do 2 4. I should get rid of these. The Vice Grip's kind of a dead card. Kapow's kind of a dead card. It's fine. We haven't taken any damage yet, so if I have to take damage, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so that turned a 6 and a 1 into two fives, which is okay. I guess if it's really high level, then it's fine. This might just kill. Unavailable. What? Can I not hear- oh, okay. Cool, I guess. Um... That was awkward. I kind of wanted to do something there. So I have Fury, but apparently there's cards I can't use in Fury. For some reason? Well then just die. I mean, at least the fight was somewhat easy. I just feel like I'm getting hit- like, was there something on the card that says I can't Fury with it? It says maintains Fury. So why was it saying unable to Fury? I don't- I don't know, chat. I feel like I'm getting hit by shenanigans, like, just straight up honest. Do damage on one, gain one armor instead. Dice damage minus one. I can add a lollipop. For a card I want to get rid of. I haven't been purchasing basically anything. Um... Honestly kind of tempted to get rid of Ice Grip. I mean, maybe when we have, like, a six and a one, it's really good. But, like, only in that scenario. Like, a 3 and a 4 is terrible. A 5 and a 2 is very mediocre to do. Could destroy the big moment. Yeah. I'm thinking of getting rid of this one. Like, it, it could, in theory, be useful. It just hasn't been. Oh, was it disabled from the prior turn? Oh, that makes more sense, I guess. Alright, let's continue onwards. Super enemy right off the bat. Interesting. The one time I want to be able to split my abilities, I have no ability to do so. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. <laughs> right, chat? This is kind of like an eye roll moment. Like, okay. Kapow is super dead in my hand. I guess I'll do that for damage.
Ulti card. Discard. I don't, I don't like that I can't see my upcoming cards when I do this, by the way. Like, how come the witch ability didn't say now you can no longer see your upcoming cards? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's like little things that keep happening that are not on the card. So I just feel kind of agitated by that. Uh, curiosity. Okay, that will return me two fives, which Vice Grip does nothing with. Welcome, Barkeep. Yeah, I feel like the Jester so far has been the worst character in terms of like clarity of abilities. I don't feel like I really learn anything with this character. Okay, I could get rid of a Kapow. I will. Put a dice evenly, sure. Minimum three, whatever. Um. Let's save up for Blamo next turn and just use Rough now. And Lollipop's now unavailable, but it doesn't matter. Even if he freezes me here, this is fine. I'll dupe the dice. Oh, freeze only goes down by one. Oh, what a troll. Uh, sure, sure we'll snap it. Ooh, Kapow is really far away. Um... Good dupe sixes. If I want to. Just thinking about it. Let's draw another card. I think it doesn't matter what I do here, as long as I get something decent. Yeah, let's dupe this. I thought about duping six exactly, but I'm like, I feel like I'm just gonna get screwed randomly. Just need to do a little more damage. Um. So I have to take damage if I want to kill him this turn. Probably fine. Oh, got another Kapow. Never mind. That works, I guess. Arf, arf, gain fury at the start of your next turn. Deal five damage, deal five damage. Uh, sure. That goes with our cards. Alright, can we make this better? This feels like less of a dead card. Return three of the difference between the dice. Okay, now this is, okay, now this is less terrible. <laughs> okay, there we go. Though I was not impressed with it before, needless to say. Let's do this because there should be free healing. Hmm. Could save multi card for later, but then it's hard to get rid of some of these cards. Yeah, let's just draw it now. We'll get Fury next turn. And another dice. Hmm. So these are all just free. If I don't use them this turn. That is going to be an insane amount of damage with Fury next turn. Might as well see what the next one is. Okay. <laughs> so next turn, this should be really brutal for this enemy. And a random blessing. 
Dodge question mark. Just don't roll terrible. Game, please. Come on. I'm getting trolled. There we go. So we did dodge once, but we didn't lose Fury. Wow. Seriously? Quadruple six? Seriously? Wow. That was so unlucky. That was so unlucky on so many levels. I could do a double heal. I guess I could do my dice. Heal a little bit. And I could get rid of Kapow. I'm sad that we don't have a snap. Alright, so I have, a, I have a good comeback next turn. I'm just really, really quadruple six on this character. It's, come on. Like, it could have just rolled, like, oh, like, it could have been, like, 6543, and that would have been better for me. Actually insane how bad that is. And you shocked the old... Come on. <laughs> and we rolled terribly. Come on. Am I gonna lose because we just rolled, like, absolute gutter trash? Unreal. I don't even know what to say, chat. This is just abysmal. Guess I'll roll a one in here. No, no, no. We have Lollipop coming up. We'll Sour Candy. We might as well activate these. I don't think I should wait for the other ability. Dupe the dice. Just got almost literally nothing. <laughs> wow, this is such a bad assortment of hands. I don't even know what to do. Do I even bother taking the damage here? Can I survive? So if I take two, I could take 12 and then die to burn. It's possibly you could roll double sixes again and I just lose. Ugh. I I don't think I'm gonna chance it. Alright, he didn't it did not roll double sixes, fortunately. We did get cursed though, which is annoying. So we gave him a dice, which is not great. So we're gonna dupe our dice. It deals six damage right now, but that doesn't help me. Brutal, what a bad draw. So whatever is shocked, I can't use at all now. I think we just lose. Because I have, like, literally nothing. I can't do anything. Wow. Man. It did hit me too on top of that. Are you being serious? <laughs> Come on. Chat, come on, what is this? Yeah, it's over. Unless we draw a miracle here. Yeah, it's over. Wow, that was such a booty. Oh, I attempted to flee to try to save the run. It's over. Wow, that was garbage. We were almost done with that in one try. That was such a bad series of rolls. I mean, what can you do when you have like quadruple of an item and you drew in 12 cards, only one match? That is, that is like actually heinous. I mean, you saw Chad, we had like what, four of the fury moves? Didn't draw a single one when we needed it. And then our finale card trolled us. 
So good to know, chat. The finale card on Copycat is super deadly, and I don't want to mess with that if we don't have to. Oh, I should have re-rolled, actually. Oh, well. Right, we've almost killed Slime. I think he's just dead here. I'm not gonna bother carrying poison. Yeah, that, that was some next level bad RNG. I don't know what to say on that. I mean, I did like Gumball Machine. I don't care about the healing, it's more about dice duping. Gumball Machine's healing did not save us. Speaking of did not save us. So if we had Snap, that would have been like the turn to Snap. That would have given us Fury. Oh yeah, think about it this way too, Chad. We never ever had a triple Blammo lineup like that any of the times that we played either. That's kind of painful. Speaking of kind of painful, can we do a little better, please? I'd like to heal a little. Or I could just double Blammo him. I mean, I guess I should heal and then double Blammo. I think that's technically the correct play. Even if I want to. Yeah, let's see what he does here, actually. I'm kind of curious. Thorns, I think, heals himself or something weird. It doesn't actually, like... Yeah, Thorns is a healing move in this game. I need to remember. We're gonna save our snap for later. I'm kind of glad he hit us there. I think it was better to not end the combat there because of the fact that I could get, um... Do damage on six inflict curse. I kind of want to inflict curse. Yeah. I'm gonna try that. We almost never. Oh. We almost never get the opportunity to do so, is what I was gonna say. Baby squid strikes again, chat. Do damage double if enemy is cursed. Okay, that makes our bad dice better. It's, it's okay. Let me uh, do some damage here. Flank Skull inflicts curse. I mean... I mean, I guess I could pop my ability because it doesn't matter when I use this. Alright, chat, I would like to say, Baby Squid got actually dunked on. No turn for you. Stupid Baby Squid. Uh, I don't think I want Vice Grip. That card legit was kind of dead in our hand. On even Inflict Curse, maybe. I don't... Uh, I might hold... Well... I guess I should commit. Let, let's let's make an uneven inflict curse. The enemy randomly hitting themselves is kind of funny. Maybe Squid deserved it. Yeah, no turno, exactly. Another triple blammo. Where is this when we have snap? No, it would have been so good, chat. It would have been so good. He didn't quite give us snap either. What a jerk. I'd like to get rid of a Kapow. So let's pay four. Discard. Sour candy. Discard. Flying skull. That should be fun. Is he gonna shoot himself? I mean, that's kind of worth it. I don't know about you, chat. The, the enemy randomly just doing five to themselves. I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest with you. They could double Blambo and kill him. I think I will. But I could heal and then Blambo for ultimate insult. 
All right, so we got a good defensive ability. Subdivide is okay. What kind of treasure chest do we have here? Laugh track, curse enemy. Uh, sure. I guess if it's a finale card, I don't really care. I mean, we're more likely to finale while we're low on cards. Or, you know, we could just... Or, or you know, we could just not draw anything that cycles into itself. You only have, like, 15 cards and, like, all of them are triplicates. You know, except for Subdivide. No, we just could have could have had something good, but, you know. What a game. Split the six evenly. The Flying Skull is up there. Get rid of this. Oh, I guess I could have kept the other one. Doesn't really matter. I have no even numbers to speak of, which is terrible. Um... I guess I could Kapow next turn because it's funny. Yeah, there's no point in me doing it this turn. We'll do it next turn. We're just gonna one-shot the Dryad. Let's see if we can get the finale going. Um, heal then. Into you're already dead. That's fun. Uh, do damage, double if enemy is cursed. Do I want to delete a card is the question. What would I get rid of? I could get rid of two of something. Like, do I get rid of the sour candies? Because they don't have lettuce energy. Do I just get rid of Kapow? Maybe I just get rid of Kapow? Yeah, I think I just get rid of Kapow. It's one of those ones where, like, it's really bad to draw it when I don't have meter, and we have definitely died because I've drawn double Kapow. Let's get rid of those and just focus on the curse, I guess. And I don't think I want to play script. Well, well, fine. You know what? I'll take it. But for now. I can always get rid of it later. We have one extra gold for the future. People laugh. Somehow draw the kapow. Doesn't that just make you sad, chat? Like, you go out of your way to try not to draw it, and it's like, you know what you want? Like, no. It's like I could get rid of these set up for a serious turn here. I guess I could just burn these cards for real. Yeah, that's pretty bad. When you have quadruple, burn it, burn down two. Still get it. Oh, if only it hit me for a little more damage. That actually would have been an amazing turn. Is there a way I can avoid using the third flamo? I don't think there is. Let's just use it then. Dump that card. Uh, can't do anything with this hand. This hand is dead. At least we'll have snap now. So we can keep it for the next area. Okay, so an even and uh, an even inflict damage. So we can do. Why? Oh, oh, that's a terrible upcoming hand. Nothing combos with this. Um, this is awkward. And at least I'm getting some healing. I mean, I could pop this, but like, is there really a point to doing this? I mean, if I could get to double blammo, it'd be nice, but I don't think I will. Actually, wait, no, I can. I could just barely do it and kill. Okay, we're good. I saw the finale card. It wanted to be played so badly. But I'm like, but alas. I'll get one heal. We'll save a heal for later. So we have been rolling super terrible. Like, out of this world terrible. Speaking of which. Let's inflict curse. I'm free. I'm gonna do that. Subdivide. 
Gumball. I probably want to heal. Get rid of Kapow. Damage? Ah, yeah, that's not too bad. We actually got to the end of our thing again, by the way. Please tell me he gives us the dice. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. Oh, he shocked himself. Oh, that's painful. Okay, there we go. Curse putting in the work. So if we manage to burn all of our cards, we can curse more easily. I could get rid of Blammo. Yeah, let's try it. See if I get punished for it or not. Having the Kapow there is painful. It split the six? Wow, we drew pretty terrible cards after this. What is, what is going on? Okay, I need to get rid of one of these. Let's get a new dice. Okay, I rolled a two. Get rid of these. Flick curse. On even. I don't have enough for evil left to do anything fun. Curse is definitely very strong. And I could just do damage. I could get rid of... I could almost get to laugh track. I don't know what it costs to play it. I might as well as see what it does again. Oh, I need an even number. Damn. I mean, like, I almost got to play it. It's close. We'll see you later, Kirk. Oh, the shock actually hit me this time. So at least we're consistently getting there. It's just unfortunate that we're getting a uh, kind of bad luck there. I can discard the evil laughs. Clicked another curse. Get a subdivide. Gumball machine. Do another three damage. Get rid of these. I sadly still don't have an even number. Yeah, the problem is like because we're doing minus ones and not like plus ones, it's harder to get to even. Because if you split an odd, I don't know if it's what it's doing with the difference, but every time we split like a six of four or two, we're gonna end up with an odd number. Not too much I could do here. I guess I'll just heal. So he might just kill himself here. Or if he splits his dice and gives it to us, it would be funny. Aw. He almost shot himself again. So at this point, I might as well fish out for healing. I have no reason to not heal. We're gonna do it as greedily as possible. There we go, Chad. Look at that greed. So we just need to get rid of our Kapows. Those things are, like, legit dead in our hand. Copy a random item from your deck. Um... Multi-card is okay. I'll try Inventor this time. Able Sam, reroll all unused dice and return this dice. Ooh. Sounds fun. Can I get rid of Kapow's, please? I could destroy another card. You get Lollipop. I think I want to get rid of a Kapow, but I don't have the ability to do so. Uh, this card is, like, legit dead. I don't really need damage with this deck. I just need Curse. And we're fine. Them randomly hitting themselves is all I need them to do. We'll Gumball Machine, and then I'll match the cards. Do some damage. Still drew the Kapow. <laughs> Chat every time. The, the the deep sigh every time we draw Kapow. If only we drew something else. Really? This is such a dead series of cards we just drew. So disappointing. I mean, I'm going to use Kapow here, and then I'm just gonna burn this. 
Man, that was a bad draw. Again, like, we have one Kapow, we have quadruples of certain cards. The fact that we're not drawing into it is like actual madness at this point. So I could do six and two to get fours. I could table slam an odd dice. I should curse him first. Split this evenly, because you never know what it could turn into. Split this. Kinda worked. Split evenly again. Okay. <laughs> Chat, every time we have Kapow. <laughs> I can't I can't understate my disappointment every time that card comes up. <laughs> oh my come on. <laughs> How do we keep drawing it in our first seven? Why does this keep happening? What did I do wrong? I'm gonna use this card and hope we don't draw it again. All right, let's get rid of these. So we should die next turn. He might kill himself with Curse, which would be funny. There we go, there's a fail. Thank you, Curse. That saved me a lot of damage. Curse the MVP chat. Okay. Super Wizard upgrades. Are you a removal card service? You are not. Boost to health and heal one? Why? Why would I... Why, Why would I take Bloodlet? What? What? <laughs> Does it upgrade into something amazing? Why the he why the hell would I ever pick that card? Do nine damage plus one dice this way. Wow, Mirror Shard. If I upgrade Mirror Shard, I could see that being useful. But we have to get to that point where it's useful. Ooh, I gotta do two fights without any healing. That's kind of rough. We need to curse him for sure. Anything he does to himself is hilarious. Let's use Inventor. This that went okay. Split the dice. I still keep drawing Kapow. <laughs> Why do I keep drawing Kapow? Get rid of Blammo. Evil app. I feel like table slamming. Please dupe our dice. It would be hilarious. Nice. He burned himself. Um. Wow. Uh, these cards are ultra dead. Um. I might as well as limit break then. Let's re-roll the three and the two. You've got how? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Did I seriously re-roll a three and a two and got a three and a two back? Game, come on. This is BS. Like, actually BS. Holy. BS on another level. I cannot even begin to comprehend the BS. Roll the one. I keep drawing Blamos, which would have been useful earlier, but I can't get rid of these. Oh wait, no I can. Sort of. Okay, there we go. It kind of did it? Kind of worked. Man, if that was even just like a four and a two, that would have been useful. Uh, he wasted his turn at least, so that could have gone worse. So I'm gonna get an opportunity to heal, which is more than I would ever expect. So ending a turn only taking six, six damage versus a super enemy, I think that's about as good as it was gonna get, to be honest with you, Chad. We just need to make it to the end. What's over here? More evil laughs. Um, yes. I think I want those, because they're actually not bad damage. And then if we start duping, it means we have a big damage payoff. How do I keep drawing this Kapow? How? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? 
Stop drawing this card. <laughs> Come on. I have so many other cards. Oh, game. Come on. Okay, I don't want to curse. I'm going to end my turn. That turn sucked. Thanks to the stupid cow. Turn was booty. Yeah, that was like actual trash. Can I please get something that isn't Kapow? Thank you. Difference between two and one? Sure. It's like duping dice. Okay, so I could curse. Then I can evil laugh. And I can evil laugh again. That kind of works. Yeah, this is going to be a harder fight than the, the wizard, for sure. Just due to the fact that we're rolling, like, actual booty. I can't even split the dice? Like, what is happening? Can we agree, chat? Like, this is hilariously terrible. Like, I, I need to keep Lambo. What do we get here? You, you gave me Inventor back. I feel like... I feel like I'm actively being trolled. I can't do anything with this hand. If I play Blammo, then I can't use Snap. And then I end up with another Evil Laugh. I mean, I could Table Flip, but then it doesn't do anything. Man, this is just such a bad turn. I don't even know what to say. I guess I set up for next turn. That was terrible. I'm gonna die due to this because I literally am getting the most like trash rolls ever. Game please. I'd prefer not to die before the healing. Okay. Like it's split it two. It's sad that we've come to this state. Get rid of the evil laughs. Roll and get another dice. Let's do that now. Okay. Stupid Kapow is in our deck still. I hate it so much. Reroll our dice. Get rid of Kapow. Heal. We're doing some damage at least. I could make a one out of this, but I don't see the point. Let's do this into first. Maybe the boss will stop hurting us for a million damage. Heal me, that'd be amazing. Nope. Oh, she burned herself. Difference between two and five, sure. Give me a random card. Evil laugh. I could get rid of these if I don't want them. They do this... They do a little... Actually, they're just better than Blamo for the most part. They're just opposite Blamo. I could get rid of these to try to get to Flying Skull. I think I will. That, yeah, I don't take damage from that card. I might as well seize it. Thus being burned out of a card doesn't really matter there. I did take a really disgusting amount of damage due to bad luck, though. And we don't have snap still, which is painful. Why do I keep drawing Kapow? Get rid of these. Lammo. Man, the boss is healing and my bad rolls. I think I'm gonna die just due to like how bad my rolls have been with our cards. I keep not drawing pairs. 
Like, even right now, I still have managed to not draw a pair, which is, like, hilariously terrible. I keep drawing Kapow. Uh, let's use these. Uh, I guess I'll just go for the win. So I don't know how I'm going to kill another enemy due to how bad that went. It would be a miracle if I don't die to this. Why not upgrade this? Gumball Machine being improved might not be the worst thing at this point. Or Vice Grip. Imp Vice Grip improving I think is better actually. Is there nothing I could do? Can I really not get rid of that other card? Boxing Gloves is okay, because it reduces damage taken. Do I really want to have another one-off on my deck? Not really. I wish we had the ability to delete the Kapow. That has actually proven to be a big problem. Okay. So I want to draw probably a six here. Freeze heal up. I think that's just the right choice. <laughs> to do a little bit of damage. Roll the inventor card. Get trolled. <laughs> so that could give us the finale card randomly. Good to know, I guess, for the future. Line doesn't matter, I don't think. The even is a problem. So freeze would have been potentially really good here. Get a new dice. My health is okay. Just blambo. Use this just to reroll. Split. Alright, so next turn I should be able to do Flying Skull. So my health is not good. If it wants to waste its turn... On overwhelm or overwhelm is the thing I'm scared of so I think I could get hit by that three more times and then I die I almost dare him to curse this he needs a three or less yeah that's fine why Just, why is this happening I can't do anything with these okay healed a little bit Ooh, two sixes is not good for me. I am near death now. Oh, he cursed him. Oh, he got cursed. Okay, that saves me. Because that would have been pretty bad for me, I think, normally. Let's do the difference between six and two. Oh, come on. Really? Really? It's the run's over, I think. GG. I don't think I could come back from that. He's going to have so many dice. I have nothing. He took, like, so many. I'm so dead. And I didn't even draw a curse, either. I'm, I think I'm dead. Wow. That was so bad. I, I somehow haven't died, but I think it's over. Because any attack that I do will kill me. So it's if this splits, for example, it doesn't give it to me, it's over. So it's kind of like, what, what do you do? Yeah, you returned to me losing, so have fun with that, I guess. Like, man. It's like, barely get through. Sour Candy might save me here, I don't know. I could maybe take a hit right now. got to be kidding me. There's so many good cards. You really... There's one Kapow in my deck. Why are we copying Kapow? Game, come on. got to be kidding me. GG, I guess. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how bad luck that is. GG. <laughs> Hate that so much. So it's not hard, it's just that sometimes the game just decides I'm not going to win. Like when I just don't, 
when I have Fury I and then it, it for 12 I cards in a row, it. none of them are duplicates. When the I only have two non-pairing cards in the whole deck, and one of them's Kapow. And I keep drawing Kapow over and over. Un unbelievable. Well, I guess I'm not going to pick up Curse again. Yeah, that was some serious trash. I like that Kapow is so bad, I literally refuse to play it. Like, it is definitely our finisher if I keep it around, but it's like... It's such a dead card on everything that is not a finisher. Unfortunate. This one's probably going to take like two more tries. We're at least really close. It's just that if we fight like the healing boss and I keep rolling sixes and everything needs a three or lower. I mean, there's I, I can't do anything to it. It's just kind of GG when that happens. So there's the blammo. We also we never got triple blammo after a certain point. We got it whenever I didn't have it, which was useless. Right, we're getting rid of these for sure. We're going to use this to heal. I'm just going to double heal here, I think. I don't know why I got rid of the, those. I should have kept them. That feeling when sour candy better than Capel. Okay. I don't know. I I kind of wanted to try something different. I guess I could try the Wolf Wolf again, and we got further with it, technically. What the heck is this? Hmm. Let the pirate first, I guess. Those are some big high rolls. Too bad I can't use them with what I have. Hmm. Guess I'll set up for next turn. I don't care about potentially it. Like, if we dupe a dice and then it get, gets rid of it, I think that's fine. We need to be aggressive here. Let's dupe our dice. Then I'm gonna get Kapow soon. So I can use the candy now. Ow. Lamo. Heal. Rough, rough. Ow. That was a pretty strong turn. Like, our damage potential with this deck is, like, infinitely more than the other one we were doing. Keep a blank for the next turn. Interesting. I'll, I'll take it. I mean, so far, finale cards only get drawn at the end, so I'm kind of okay with that. It doesn't really clutter our deck at all. I think the inventor was fine because the problem with the other one drawing more cards is I just couldn't see what the next action is. And in a game where I need to see it because that's what my ability is, that feels pretty bad. Speaking of pretty bad, let's get rid of all the Kapows. I'll have to get out of here. Yeah, at least duplicating it might match something in my hand. And most of the time, my cards shouldn't be gutter trash. Most of the time. So I could do this. Pay for this. Lamo. Thank you for the fury. We finally got to triple Blamo. The first time, despite doing that like so many times. Not a big fan of Subdivide. I'll take Lollipop. Reroll a dice, maintain Fury. Um, There's something I'm going to get rid of. Kap Getting rid of Kapow, I feel like I tried really hard and the game still gave it to me. I don't mind keeping maybe two. Maybe just going down to one is a mistake. 
Because they do one, two, three, four, so they do eight damage total. But I think our other abilities are just better. Let me get rid of one. Yeah, we'll go down to two. I'll keep two, just in case. Yeah, I'm hoping we just don't draw into it as often. Because that was abysmal. Yeah, Rough Rough is just better Glamo. We'll see what happens here. We're doing okay damage. As long as he did... Oh, he did roll doubles. Never mind. Of course. <laughs> right, Chad? Of course. Uh, at least I could split these. Subdivide a four into twos. Get rid of a two. Reroll a one. Double Kapow is coming up. Um. rid of the one. Spend some on Wolf Wolf for next turn. I guess that's not too bad. I was gonna say, as long as he doesn't roll another double, I think we're okay. Wait, he paid for... At least the AI is misplaying. It makes me feel a little better when I misplay. Because <laughs> I'm like, what the hell was that? So I could pay six to do six. I guess that's fine. I could discard the Kapows, which I will. Or you just kill right now. That also works. Alright, so we can upgrade something. Lambo could be freed. Gumball Machine gives more healing. Said return two dice. Ooh. Does that mean it could be something other than a one? I think subdivide matters. Could make Wolf Wolf cheaper. I think duping dice matters more. The, the big problem is... Actually, maybe this is a big problem because... If it costs eight and we keep splitting dice, I kind of need that to be cheaper, actually. Let's heal. I have one coin left over, so I can't get the Maintain's Fury. Uh... I'll fight Stereo Head, I guess. Damage... I think it's still better for me to Sour Candy here, in the same scenario. Yeah. Double sixes get wrecked. Cool. Meanwhile, this happened. I think I could duplicate this. I think I will. Do some damage. Okay. So he's gonna do four to us, which I don't think really matters in a battle. Oh, we can cause this more. That's right. Um, I prefer not to limit break here. I think I don't have to. Oh, that was a pretty clean fight. I'm just ignoring his dialogue. I'm like, listen, we're going to the end. Hopefully. Anything fun? Another lollipop. Um, sure, because maybe I could dupe it now. Uh, of course we draw Kapow. Get actually trolled. So I could set up for next turn. I could get rid of the Kapow. Could use the sour candy. 
Because doing Blammo and a Rough Rough is okay. Well, I guess I could subdivide. I guess this is worth going for. So I'm going to get a potentially double Lollipop here. But I guess this is paying off? I was lucky. Uh... I could double something. I'm gonna get a card next turn. We're finally gonna get to play a finale. I could Fury something. Double heal just to be a full health. Sure. Keep a five for next turn. There we go, Chad. I played a finale card, finally. <laughs> Double sixes, seriously. Wow. Shake your head, chat. Just wow on that one. Well, I mean, at least we kind of set up a loop. We have gumballs and then double lollipops. So I could do... A five. And roll the dice twice here. And get rid of this with a four. Okay, so that gave us more dice. Sour candy not available, which is unfortunate. Split the four, though. Just get rid of Kapow. And use this. Oh, interesting. So because I because I made it unavailable via Fury, that also means I can't snap it. Interesting. I kind of wish I could use action again there, but I guess I'll kill it with Kapow, because it's shameful. But at least we have a way of getting extra dice. It's kind of neat, I guess. Um, add three to Kapow damage. Eh. I think I'll just do Inventor. Inventor being random, I think, was kind of nice. Put a dice evenly. I think I want to discard Lollipop. Can't do anything with them. This is the Reaper's power. Boldy time, indeed. I guess I do. Do I just keep discarding? Why not? Our candy? Okay. I mean, I actually managed to somehow go through my deck. I think this is okay, right? <laughs> I could have maintained Fury first. That was a small misplay there. Uh, let's see. I guess I just play all my cards then. Oh well, could have had more damage there. Let's definitely get a 6 for next turn. Yeah, that's fair. So even if he heals, even if he hurts me here, I don't think it matters. Potentially double rough rough if I need to here. Pay the one. Heal up. A six. I'm gonna have Wolf Wolf and Inventor next. Um, I think I just heal again because I want to activate my ability without dying. Don't really care if he heals off of me or not, to be honest. Alright, hopefully we draw decently here. So I'm gonna have a double Kapow. I'm gonna get a free dice. I could dupe this. Dupe this. Use Inventor. 
Okay, now I have a definite reason to do this. Pretty good. Let's subdivide a two. Get double lollipop. I mean, this is kind of working out. Save a five for next turn. I can't believe I actually ran out of cards. That's kind of insane. So, okay, we're seeing a much smoother gameplay. We adjusted our cards properly this time. Rusty Sword Spatula. Do damage, then flip the dice upside down. That's kind of free damage. Do damage, double if your health is below 50. I think I want the ability to flip the card. Because this is more useful. Unless I want to destroy a card. Is there something I want to destroy? I mean, I think our deck went through our hand really quickly. I don't think there's anything I hated in here. The only thing I'd probably want is Spatula Sword. Just so I can manipulate the dice a little better. It's like, we legit ran out of things to do, which is very silly. Um, I think I just get rid of Blambos. Use the in Inventor. Oh! The action card is there. Interesting. Uh, I keep a six for next time, maybe. I could minus one the three if I want to. Could do double rough rough. No, let's get rid of cards. Uh, no, let's just keep getting rid of cards. Split it two. Now we have more things to think about. I could flip a one back into a six. And then gumball machine the other one. If I want to. Or I could kapow right now. No, 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 no. Let's use a five. Then I'm going to lollipop this. Yeah, there we go. And then hit dice because it's funny. I can't believe we used up all of our abilities. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I could get the double six here. I don't even need to kapow at all. They pay the three. And then keep two sixes. Okay. And then discard kapow, because it's funny. Alright, play my entire hand. I mean, that helps, <laughs> right? Like, having all those cards, like, okay. I don't, oh, first one was Gumball Machine. I have nothing but sixes, which is awkward. Probably do this and start duping. I mean, at this point, I just gotta keep doing damage, I guess. So he's not doing a lot of damage to us, and meanwhile we could do whatever we want. So I could flip this one back into a six. Which I might as well as, I guess. So we're we're kind of doing whatever we want on this on this character's turn. So we'll, we could heal or just get rid of. I think I'll get rid of. And I'll get rid of Kapows. We'll use an inventor. Alright, so I could do some rough rups if I want to. Dice minus one. Hmm. Probably want to start spending dice. I'm just seeing how many cards. So I have four cards left after this. I could do this one just to get rid of it. So if I double rough rough, then I lose ten damage. Hmm. Maybe I'll do something like lollipop it. Then I pay, I pay, I get rid of blammo. That works. I can't do that because of fury. That's what I wanted to confirm. I think that's good. So yeah, we're we're getting very consistent play my entire hand turns. 
So that's good. So that means if I have healing in my deck, I do heal an okay amount every turn. This hand just became, like, basically unusable. What the heck is this? Um... I'll pay for Blamo. Lollipop is burned out. I guess I'll pay for Ruff Ruff. We just need to do two damage. We could draw almost anything and probably kill here. Except for that. We could draw anything except for that and kill. Did we seriously draw our only. one of our only non damage cards? <laughs> seriously? <laughs> I'm about to take so much damage due to that. That sucks so bad. Unreal. Unreal. Yeah, I think I'm dead here, actually, due to that. Oh, he just did poison. Okay, I have a chance of survival. Okay, dupe the twos. I'd like to heal, actually, without killing him. So we took so much damage. So it's kind of important that we heal here. And then no matter what I do, he dies here. I don't think there's a way I can stall this. Okay, we got a little bit of healing back, but that was a really rough battle. I think it's over. Yeah, it it's just unfortunate that like I just choked on the damage there. I can maybe get Gumball Machine to be higher healing. I just, I don't know. Like, unless we get, like, some super healing, I don't see how we're going to survive this. Gumball Machine is, like, the only thing I could really think of that would help. Really sucks that we took... Why did it have to be the Super Wizard right in the beginning? Keep two of these. Not that useful. So I could go for... No, I'm just thinking about it. Like, our damage is okay, it's just I'm too injured now. Guess I could Lollipop Plus. I have no idea how we're gonna survive this next turn. I don't think I want more cards. That really sucks. If the shop. If the card is healing, we're fine. If it doesn't, we die. That sucks. I think I'm going to be forced into the fight that destroyed me last time. And we started ultra terrible. Of course we did. Of course we did. Well, chat, uh, GG. Uh, we drew nothing of interest. And we are really far behind in terms of health. That is so bad what we drew. Holy, it's terrible. <laughs> it's like, we really drew a Kapow? Really? Holy. I mean, maybe I can make this work. Maybe. I might as well just pop it, because I don't think I'm going to get another turn. To be honest with you. Okay. We just got to get lucky. So I can flip a 5 into a 2. And then I can pay to split to get a lot of ones. Does that help me? I mean, I have to go for something here. Okay. Maybe this will keep me alive. I don't really know. Really rolled another one, huh? Well, I mean, I guess this is good for now. Maybe I don't just instantly take 5 million damage and die. Oh, she didn't... Okay, maybe. She she didn't hit me with everything. I might have a chance. So, how do you get rid of locked in this game? Oh, they need to be used in order. That's fair. Let's roll another dice. Which locked that one for some reason. Okay. Um... Damn, this hand is ultra dead. Uh, I might as well heal. I could flip a 1 over into a 6. 
Or I could just do six. Hmm. Let's pay two to get rid of this. This will give me a one. I could get another one here. Or... Will this work? Are we going to try to make the comeback of a century here? I get extra dice from this. Uh, I could get rid of Blamos. I could subdivide is unavailable. Minus one the dice. I could do that. What are we getting from Inventor? A rough rough? I could do ten damage if I want to. Oh, there's Lollipop Plus. That's unfortunate. I mean, I think I just gotta go for it. The so subdivide next turn should help me. Maybe I won't die? Oh, she rolled low? Oh my gosh, I get a chance? Oh yeah, see, that would've killed me. <laughs> it's like, if she had been rolling sixes, it would've been over. Split the dice. All right, so now I just need to heal here. Okay, so minus one. I just need to heal. We could do eight damage to her already. Let's heal. Copy something randomly. Pal is not the thing that I want copied randomly. Um, let's do three to her now. Minus again. Get rid of Kapow. I get rid of Blamo. I don't see any other healing. Okay, kill a spatula sword. I might as well check. Oh, I can't kill a spatula sword. That is awkward. You know what's more awkward? Dying to Kapow. Alright, so if I can somehow survive... Uh, with 21 health, that's not as terrible. I did actually manage to somehow go up in health. I think we were very lucky that the boss did not decide to roll 666, as I'm pretty sure I would have taken about 12 damage and then 12 damage and died. So we're up some health, and I roll lucky enough to get to the next area, because I think if we do, we're going to win, because I think our deck is really good. It's just the wizard destroyed us. Okay, so I could get a free lollipop if I want to. Um, Let's spend three now. I can heal if I want to. I think I have to. So I could lower my value slightly just to get rid of these cards. Before for the next turn. Interesting. Can you get rid of these? Unfortunately, I don't have another card if I do this. Yeah, we needed one more dice. Okay, next turn I get some dice. So I didn't do a lot of damage, but I set up for next turn. It's at least going to take... Unfortunately, it did roll a six. <sighs> gonna hurt. I'm gonna get snap. Might not be the worst. I have like a turn or so. This. None of our cards match with anything. This is painful. Um, heal, I guess. Flip a 1 into a 6, or a 2 into a 4. Guess I'll flip. We'll do this just so I can get rid of these for damage. And I can heal. So, like, we're gaining an okay amount of health, all things considered. If I could get Blammo out of the way, this would be huge. So I could pay 5. And pay three. That's big damage. Then I could just use this. And I have Lollipop again, which I can activate. Okay, what did we get as our extra? Okay, that was pretty good. 
Okay, so this is turning around, chat. That went from like no way to we had two lucky rolls on the other boss. We're good. So I could keep a five. I could do do damage here. And I can heal. So our health total is not terrible. Even if she did six here, it's not the end of the world. Oh, there we go. We get an extra dice, which is interesting, not, not affected by the other ability. So I could double lollipop if I want to. I think I'll take... Okay, so I could do eight damage right now. I need to do... I think I'd have to cycle some cards. Let's let's heal a little. I might actually just straight up throw away the lollipops, because I can't do anything with them. Get rid of Blamos. Do the inventor, because I could get something nice. Don't I mean I could get rid of this, but then I don't know what to do after this. Let me think about this. So I could dupe something, but then I have Gumball Machine, which I can't use. I think I have to discard, sadly. Uh, if I flip this, it does five. I'm gonna be a little shy of damage. Specialist Sword will give me something back. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Died to Kapow. Thank you, Kapow. I, we're getting there. I'm like trying to think many turns ahead. Run a powerful item, cost one, you have five. Add one to all. Plus one to all dice, less than six. I probably want that. Now I can dupe something. Hmm, what do I do? Dupe the I can't copy the finale. Spatula sword duping is kind of interesting. Could dupe robot or inventor. Could dupe gumball machine. We don't have a duplicate of this. It's not the worst idea, because then we at least can move it easier. Yeah, let's dupe gumball machine. I thought about duping like one of the copies, but honestly, I think being able to use our ability more consistently is more important. That might be better. Missing score, do damage, 25% chance to return dice. Um. Okay. I mean, we usually end up with a lot of spare dice anyway, so that's probably fun. We have a fight there. Ooh, dare I? I guess we fight the Wicker Man first. Dare I try to get a full clear, though, is the question. I mean, our health total is not bad. Use the five. Gumball machine to get more dice. Split our dice. Use lollipop. So it's like we you can see how like it starts to snowball. Do you feel the snowball with the deck? Plus one everything here. Might as well as. Uh get a one back if I need to. I think we just go for damage here. Uh, the Kapow is kind of useless, because we're not in our super form. Just do this to get rid of a 2. Get rid of the Blamos. Get rid of the Kapows. Inventor. Another Inventor. Split the dice, okay. Then I just burn my hand. Get two for next turn. Good enough. I mean, we did all that without having our power, so it shows like we have a consistency with the deck. And the fact that we're healing more now 
15, so I can afford to trade these little trades with the enemy. As long as we draw, like, reasonably lucky. Wow, Lollipop plus getting duped is kind of nice. I'm gonna get rid of the Kapow, but I don't think I can. He's taking some big damage. I get rid of these. Could use the robot. Yeah, might as well as. Heal up a little more. If I could only get another minus one on this. Robot kind of... Robot a little unfortunate here, but on the plus side, my health total is insane for next turn. Like, the fact that I ended at 40 there is pretty silly. So at least we seem to have enough healing that I can kind of brute force these fights. Is it really gonna force me to do this? The Wolf Wolf... Wolf Wolf will kill, though. Yeah, actually, I don't need to do this. I'd like to not burn my power. Let's discard these. We did it, chat. I, c I could kill them death via Kapow if I want to. Die via shame. Alright, we took some damage. Inventor invented inventor. You're not wrong. I don't think I heal yet. I think I kill this thing first, then I heal. Because this thing, I think, halves our health. Hmm. Now, if I plus one on a six, does that give a new dice? Things I wish I knew before coming to this point. Find out, I guess. Nope. Oh well, it was worth trying. Oh, of course I got another Kapow. Kapow actually doing decent damage, surprisingly. And actually, we healed up a lot there. Hmm. Put the three over. Double blammo. Man, Apple is getting messed up, chat. Can we talk about this? Like, get out of here. Like, we're, we are very consistently getting through our abilities. So I actually healed quite a lot here. So unless he really has my health here, I don't think this matters. This was kind of a free fight. I think Jack could agree. And I even kept a little bit of snap meter for later. So I just gotta roll okay-ish. Alright, so what I think I could do is get rid of Blammo. It's too expensive. I can minus one this. To then do this. Yeah, there we go. Now I can flip the... 6 into a 1 if I need to. Or flip the 5 into a 2. I'll do a 4 into a 3, actually. Sure, what is the inventor going to give us? More Blammo? I mean, he's almost dead. I mean, honestly, at this point, I might actually get a full heal off of this enemy, which is insane. We have a useless Kapow, but I could do 7 damage right now. The question is... Do I bother, or do I go for healing? I think I actually just skip this. Yeah, I think I just go for the healing. Oof. Alright, chat, this is... This is, turning into, this is turning into a deck. This is fun. So we gained health on him. So that could not have gone any better if we wanted it to. Just as useless as Apple from Suikoden, damn. Cold hard truth, though. So now I have no reason to not at least attempt this. So I could heal 
8 health. I can heal up to 16. I think going in with 36, if I can't win at 36, I don't think I can win. Let's be honest. Let's be real honest there. Because we're going to go up health in our turn, more likely than not. We drew no cards that cycled with each other. That's kind of brutal. Um... I could try to rely on missing score here. Okay, we did get it back. So we gained health again. I could get rid of Blammo. We're gonna gain health again. So there's definitely no reason to have taken the other thing at this point. I can heal again. I can Spatula Sword, I split a five into a two, but I can subdivide the six. Here we go, chat. We're, we're going on, like, another plane of existence. We're doing good damage. So, like, as long as we can keep this up, we're fine. Use this. Get a new dice. Plus one. Throw away the Kapows. Um, I can actually just do straight up damage with, uh... I almost have... Hmm. What do we do here? Do I get rid of the six? Or do I want to hold it for action? Like, the fact that we're at the end of our turn is kind of funny. So I could get rid of a Sour Candy, so I think I want to minus... Rough Rough needs at least a 6, right? I think I'll keep a 3 then. I think that's probably fine. Get rid of these. Yeah. That was the right call. The next turn we get a 5. So that's fun. We have this health and we're at full health. So go ahead and do damage to me. That's fine. He's giving us snap. Curse kind of sucks. Curse is not something that I'm happy to see. Uh, let's try to bait out curse with a heal. It's not lucky. Also, I should have looked to see it at Lollipop. There's a small misplay. Um... Give him dice, which sucks. Yeah, that remo losing the dice there, I think, ended our turn. If we got the dice back, it would have been fine. He's not doing a ton of damage, but the fact that he's cursing is a problem. Because we're, we're very much a combo kind of deck. Please stop taking my dice, I beg of you. All right, let's, let's activate. Split. Flip. Random. Got a blammo. Interesting. New dice on a three. Activate. Dupe. Can use missing score, which is fine. Get rid of the six if I want to. Let's get rid of one of the ones. So our healing is still fine. We're not in like big trouble yet. I'm gonna get rid of this just to get rid of the dice. I could dupe something now. I think he's dead if I dupe this properly. Oh no, he's not gonna be dead due to missing score. Not being usable. Hmm. I could have I could have waited on robot then. So even if I do double six here, this doesn't really matter. That's fine, we'll do this then. We'll leave him at one. I can't use this ability. So unfortunate. I'm gonna be like off by one chat. Ugh, sucks. Oh well. So he built a snap again, which is not bad. I'd rather have that right as we're kind of entering the end of the turn. So the problem is, is I can't do anything without killing him. I think this is GG for him. I wanted to heal off him a little more, but that's fine. Alright, so we can heal a... A... Yeah, we're good. <laughs> right, chat? Might as well go for the fight. So now we have a partially built snap meter for the final boss. We just need to keep it there. Don't really want to re-roll the one, but we are kind of in a tough spot. I think I try something like this. Not get the dice returned. 
Level six is, is interesting, but not useful. Super unfortunate. I'm gonna have to waste that. Get rid of this. Bachelor Sword. Actually, wait. Big brain play. I dupe this and hit for 12. Or I could split. Mm. Yeah, this is fine. Reroll a dice. Didn't roll an even number, which is unfortunate. Uh, if I had an even number, I could have subdivided. So I think what I'm going to do is... Sour Candy, just to do damage. Throw this away. I guess do another five? I mean, that's a pretty good turn for us. If we're averaging like 30 damage a turn... And I'm potentially healing, like, seven. I think I'll be fine. Wow, that's all they did? Oh, they're in big trouble, actually. I'm not even gonna bother doing anything crazy with them. They are in super big trouble. Um, let's do Blamo. Oh, let's hope it for a one. Another chance. Nope. So we're still getting healing. We have double Kapow coming up. I do a bare minimum of three here, which I think I will. And I can minus one one of these to get rid of the Kapows, to get rid of the Sour Candies. Can't use Spatula anymore. I could dupe a Lollipop if I can get there. No, I won't be able to get there. If I could have used Spatula Sword, that would have been it. This this character is in big trouble against me next turn. They better hope I don't draw well, because they're dead if I do. Yeah, and they do less damage every time they use it. I'm not really all that worried about, to be honest. Now, that's what we like to call an unfortunate dice roll for them. <laughs> right, chat? That was... Mm. That, that was most unfortunate for them. Do five. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that much damage. What we close for? I'm just kind of disrespecting them right now. If it wasn't clear, <laughs> like just, just like we could definitely kill this character. But like, what if, what if more suffering? Just for all the nonsense I had to go through before. Jerk. So anyway, we took an okay amount of damage, but more importantly, we've leveled up. We got another subdivide, so that's something we could dupe now. That's kind of huge. Um, I can't upgrade any of those. Could make another lollipop upgrade. Might be worth it. Spatula sword. Flip the dice upside down, then do the damage. No. Honestly, maybe I upgrade the finale because at this point we should just go through our entire deck every time. Unless I make this a seventy-five percent chance to return the dice. Actually, that's probably fine. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. We'd have to fight a truly terrible boss. I'm not super worried about. So keep in mind, we have Snap right off the bat. Oh, hello. I was just writing in my diary, and I didn't have much to say about today. But beating you terribly in a fight is going to make a great entry. Ooh, we rolled kind of terrible. Hi, I'll take that. Um. Ooh, we're rolling kind of bad numbers here. I'm not gonna lie, the fact that I have to do double here really sucks. Like the fact that it's like, look, look, look how how is that the comboing game? Please, cut me a break on this one. Do a little better game. Spatula sword, then I could subdivide it. Jeez. Like the comeback of the century with how bad that was. Uh, can't use Blammo. Guess I could get rid of a sour candy. Please return my six. Did, nice. We roll the three. Split the ones. I'm gonna get double Blammo, finally. 
where I could set up for a big blammo. Let's set up for big blammo. She's getting actually dunked. Plus one to all dice. Can't even do anything there. Um, I mean, this is feeling kind of one-sided, so I can double action. I don't think splitting the dice here matters. So what we're going to do, we're going to just overheal, which is kind of a lame choice. But I, I can't get rid of these cards. So she's at half health, and I get an extra dice next turn. That's brutal. Imagine if it would stake for somewhere lost on my deck. Yeah, that'd be painful. She could repeat next action. She might not even get a turn. Right, chat? Like, I'm healing five plus a turn. I don't really care about her little nonsense. I could plus one everything. Is there a downside? Not really. I mean, I could minus one just to get rid of this. Then plus one. Oh, but then that's there. That's unfortunate. I mean, it, Lollipop would come up eventually, but it's just kind of unfortunate it was right there. Let's get rid of Blamos. Let's do... It feels super bad to use a Kapow there, but I think I have to. I rolled another six, which is a little unfortunate, actually. So I can't use most of my abilities unless I use Lollipop here. I think I could split this, then subdivide if it's an even. Then flip the three into a four. I can't subdivide again because our cards are dead. Um, spend a three. Spend a four. Discard. Random access. Subdivide. Period. I mean, okay. Right? Like, I'm, I'm kind of okay with this. Like, okay. So that's painful. I get another dice, and I'm almost a fool again? Jeez, right, chat? I, there's no way she could do 40 damage to me. And she Fury, so she can't even attack? Oh my gosh, she's done. Go ahead, give me Snap. Yeah, you fool. It's over. I don't care how many of my cards are burned. It's over. Sure, I'm even going to plus one. Reaper's power. I'm going to plus one this. So, sadly, our ability doesn't do anything. This is more just the flex. I'd like to get to subdivide. Let's do four. Four, then split the subdivide. We're getting through it eventually. I can subdivide again with the four. Let's do some damage. She's at four. I could kill her right now, but what if I want to shame her? <laughs> right, chat? But what if? See, look, now I have more health. It's more shameful. Hold on, chat. We're not done healing. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't do anything that doesn't kill her. Oh, whatever. I was just going to go back to pool. Bullying the child. That's what she deserves. After that other area, I'm glad we're done with that. Back for another spin. Of course, let's see if you win. Literally anything is possible. It's not like anybody involved here has absolute power over fate and fortune. You only have one more. Dare I do it? I guess I could give it one try. Oh wait, no. I absolutely do. Isn't that nice? We only have one left. Lead all six parallel universes, uh, uh, universes, use a finale card. So it was an achievement to do it, so I'm glad we did that. So the final one, can I beat it in one try? I have enough time for one try, and that's it. So we'll see how it goes. I choose my finale, interesting. Complete this episode to unlock hard mode? Yeah, I don't... Listen, chat, I don't mind hard mode on some of the characters, but do I want to do the you get the enemy gear on hard mode? Hell no. Ludana and Dean. I don't like either of these, can I be honest? I think the one where we got the extra dice was a lot more fun. Yeah, there's a hard mode. 
unfortunately. I saw that last time we were doing Parallel Learn Universe stuff. We haven't gone back to it, of course. Hmm. I guess I could do four. Four. Remove. I can almost blammo again, so might as well as. Yeah, we're like one dice short of big moment being useful. Oh, I should have removed. Actually, that's better I didn't discard, because I could discard next turn. So I'm going to take eight. Kind of blows. I just need to do three, but more importantly, I should probably heal. The so discard. Heal. Damage. Uh, so we're, we got a little injured, but that's not the end of the world. What do we have here? Juggling ball? I like juggling ball. That'll help with getting the extra dice for the, the final ability. So I could get rid of my sour candies. Is it worth doing? I guess it is. So I could pay for the big moment. I think I will. I can pay the one if I want to. I could have killed with the ability, but I want to see if it's in the next area. So as we saw, it wasn't hard to get to a juggling ball. You just do this. So just showcasing its power. Like I could just do this and kill. So that's not hard to do once you have something that dupes dice. Detonator... Uh, I did not really like Deflect. I guess I could try a Detonator pack. I guess. Alright, what are the rules? Both you and your enemies start each fight with re-equip next. What the heck does that mean? What's, what's re-equip next? Wait, no. What, what, wait, what does that mean? You need to explain that. I don't know what that means. Hello? Let's re-equip. That's gonna be something trash, isn't it? Next equipment you can use can be used again on this turn? Oh, no. That's really bad for me because I'm more likely to get slapped out of existence with it. Um, And this is really bad for Jester because I need to cycle my cards. This is so bad. Oh, this is not good. This is literally the opposite of what I need. Big yikes, chat. This is super not good. Imagine being a deck that needs to cycle your cards and I can't cycle a card. That's really bad, and it gives the enemy multiple uses of something. Yeah, I think that might have been one of the worst ones we could get. Not like the possible worst, but not good either. I killed them with healing. That was interesting. Lollipop, sure. Um... Yeah, basically, if I draw Licorice, it's a dead hand. Or use as a big moment is okay. I think Lollipop duping into two dice is important. We saw how powerful that was once it starts replicating. So he has a really high chance of stealing our money and escaping. I mean, I guess uh, if we have Lollipop, it's not the worst thing ever to have, I suppose. It's like, okay, add two. What do I want to get rid of? Get rid of one of the threes, maybe? Yeah, Detonator is kind of like for the longer battles, but I don't I hate how awkward our hand is now. Feels pretty terrible, I'm not gonna lie. We could heal to do damage, and I could juggling ball. 
Then I can remove the Kapals. I don't really want to use them. I could do two damage or do two damage. Not really excited by those choices. Yeah, that really clunkified our hand. It sucks. Normally that would be like amazing on like Warrior or something like that, or even the robot, but like this is just so bad for us. I know it only lasts one turn, but like most of the time, like that one turn is what sets us up for everything else. Kinda sucks. Also, I did that in the wrong order. That was silly. I don't know why I did that. Now I can't clear my hand. Fortunate. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of the poison cards. If I was able to, I would get rid of it. But I also just don't want the defensive cards. I feel like they're also equally as not useful. Use two damage. Remove the Kapow. Hopefully draw something decent. So he's dead next turn. He can't attack, so it's more like... You could see, like, how much worse our hand became by picking up those other cards. Like, that just shows, like, there's some... not fun abilities to pick up with this character, and unfortunately we have them. Don't... I don't know. Do I just get rid of the poison cards? So I, I don't think they're helpful. We started with Duplicate, which is, like, one of the rare scenarios. That helps us a lot. So I guess there's at least a little bit of variance on how terrible it is. I'm gonna get rid of the sour candies. I'm gonna get rid of the licorices. I'm gonna get rid of the kapows. Can't use that, unfortunately. Let's use a blammo. Another blammo. Split the dice. Ball. I pay for big moment. I'll just use a blammo here. Then it. Oh, he's gonna get a lot of dice. But that's actually good because he can't benefit from it. This is like one of the few fights where he also can't benefit from it, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's do this. Split the dice. Move the blammos. Move the kapows. Um, use one of these. Use one of these. Get rid of the Kapals. Have poison for next turn. Oh, he's dead no matter what. As long as he doesn't draw too crazy here, there should be GG. So that's fine. Uh, take damage. So I could just heal, that way I could get a duplicate. Might as well as do that. Do before. Kill him with poison damage? I mean, he's already dead, I might as well as just heal. We're trying to be conservative with HP. <laughs> Well, add damage, add one poison. That's not too bad. So I could get rid of one of these and get rid of one of our other cards. A little better. So I could start getting rid of our... I don't know if I care about Detonator. Detonator is also kind of a dead card. Licorice. Maybe it would have been better just to get rid of Licorice than get the other card. I'm not really sure. Licorice eventually pays off. I guess I could get rid of... Ugh. Actually, I'm going to choose not to do anything. If I can't get rid of two cards at once, maybe it's better I just keep it. Yeah, let's just keep it for now. Both your enemies start each fight with Fury? Oh no. Um... Oh boy. I hope I draw something good, right, chat? Or else I'm gonna die really quickly. I did not draw anything of interest. That's kind of painful. Am I really not gonna get anything worth using? I don't want to blammo this. I don't want to licorice this. 
Echoing Ball is okay, I guess. Give me more dice. We get rid of the Kapals. And Lollipop. Ball for damage. Duplicate a six. Uh, I think I just get rid of these. Both of these are effectively the same. I could do a two. Five. Double big moment. This, like, is okay. I might just die here, though. We'll see. Oh my gosh, I'm taking so much damage. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, the run might just be over due to how unfair that damage is. Because there's nothing I could really do about that, to be honest. Um, I didn't think this through. Yeah, I could have kapowed and ended this. Might have been a big mistake. Well, yeah, it's just, it's so, like, because now I just can't outheal how much we take. Like, look at that. I lost half my health in one move. That's super not good for us. Can I kapow into some sour candy? No. I'm gonna die before then. Less? But then I can't use it. Mm. Oh well, I tried. So, yeah, I think this is now unwinnable due to RNG rules, because if I don't literally one-shot, I just die. Like, there's no in-between. And I'm really not liking our cards. The poison slowed us down big time. Okay, so I can lollipop for more dice. In. Could Kapow again with a five, maybe? I mean, I, I basically just have to go like all out every turn, and if I don't do that, I just straight up perish. Hoping to get a better number there. Fortunate. Our right, poison damage is okay. Power damage is okay. Use this to do more damage. Dupe the sixes. Do seven damage. Oof, barely. Yeah, it's like, if I'm not playing literally at top level, it's just over. Add three Kapow damage. Random item to deck. Probably one random item. Random item so far has been steering us in the right direction. I could destroy a single card or get shovel. Um. I think I really do need to get rid of the poison. Now I, I can't really afford to have it in the deck. I could also just get rid of detonator. Detonator is also a pretty dead card, to be honest with you. Yeah, let's actually get rid of detonator, because I don't care about the poison finisher. We have less cards that I get stuck on. I'm not big into, like, the damage over time builds, especially with this rule set. I don't think it's going to matter most of the time. I'm going to get rid of these. I would have loved to dupe an inventor. All right, we'll just re-roll random dice. Maybe we'll get something interesting. Double Kapow. Disregard. <laughs> right, chat. Disregard previous statement. Never mind. <laughs> Oof. Lollipop. I guess I'll use it. Get rid of Kapows. Echoing Ball could be nice here. Poison doesn't really work on this thing, so I'm not gonna bother. I think I just go for seven and then claw. I 
I mean, it's probably not going to do damage. Or even if it does half damage, that doesn't matter because I only did one. So I'm kind of okay with that. Although, again, like, the them doing, like, 20 damage to me in one turn is kind of insane. I don't know what the counterplay is to that other than not die, hopefully. Alright, so they're going to take three damage. Can I kill them is the question. We drew pretty badly. I think they're dead? I might kill them through the poison. But I don't know how rounding works in this game. I might not die from that. But I don't really have a good choice here. I'll just heal. I don't have faith. Alright, so now at least I have snap. So if I could just get a little bit of healing here, that would have been worth it. Lollipop. Minus three. Power. I can heal with a four. I can do. Guess that was worth it. Inventor into inventor. Juggling ball. Is there anything else you could do without killing? Not really. Alright, so I got a little health back. It sometimes matters. That was the technically correct play. Whether I needed it or not. No, I didn't need it. At least it, it felt like I did the right thing to conserve HP. We have a little bit of gold left over. I got rid of the payoff of poison. Enemies get an extra dice. Oh, come on. <laughs> what the hell is this? Chad, I'm not... There's no, If I win this run, it would be a miracle. Let's be honest with you. It's just... um. That is a absolute choice that we're about to go through. So we just need more... Dice duplication. Juggling ball upgrading might be okay. Aldrin times two is not bad. We don't really have like a good payoff card, unfortunately. We got poison, which is just kind of underwhelming. I could try to upgrade claw for damage. The kapals are kind of lackluster. Yeah, I have like literally nothing in the deck that I want. This is like the saddest war time. I can make juggling ball a little better. I can make duplicate just work in general. Yes. So there's a possibility we just take 24 damage and die here, by the way. Just absolutely. That's a pretty good thing to duplicate. Now that was a strong duplicate chat. When we have turns like that, then we're okay. When we don't have turns like that, profound sadness. Let's just get rid of these Kapals. Alright, so we're poisoning him a lot. I can reroll the one. Not what I thought I was going to reroll into, but that's fine. Some healing. Random item. Okay, to dice. Sure, get rid of those. Slowly pop the four. Get a three. Like, we're doing damage, but the problem is, like, it, it when he gets his turn, I'm going to feel it big time. Yeah. Rip my health, chat. I'm about to take, like, 20-something for sure. Gonna be brutal. Wait, he did his fist first. Oh, you know what? If he if he just wants to do like twelve less damage, I'm not gonna complain. Like that's on him, Chad. Wow, none of our abilities sync up with anything. That is painful. What a bad draw. Better draw. I'm gonna activate here just to kill. So he's dead to poison no matter what here. Can I get some healing? No. Alright, so I have healing. Prefer not to use it. Dice value plus one. Okay, we got a duplicator. Poison, Claw, Sweets. Heal two of above max health. Um, 
It's actually not a bad thing to pick up, necessarily. Although sweets doesn't... Oh, sweets doesn't combo with anything. Claw would have actually been good for us. Uh, Like, I want it, but I don't want it. Oh boy. I don't know how we're gonna survive the Kraken other than a miracle. It's not a miracle. Uh, well, we pretty much have to hit full health or I die. I don't think there's an option on this. Let's heal a little bit. Chat, that feeling when that- oh, you can only play three cards? That shows you how bad that Gimp does, chat. I could only play three cards. That's how bad our hand was. That was hilariously terrible. Um, go for poison. Okay. So it was a six. That should be our six. So I'll duplicate the six. I can't believe that just happened. We can heal if I need to, which I probably do. Get rid of one of the ones. Get rid of the licorices. Get rid of these. I hope this is the one. I don't think it was. Um. That was the one. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh well. I wasn't sure what side it put our bonus one on. I mean, our health is surprisingly okay right now. The Kraken chose not to do its attack. It did a passive ability first for whatever reason. First sucks. Cycling ball. Got an extra one. Lamo. That sucks. I mean, so far we're doing okay, but the boss is going to scale out of control with evens, is the problem. So around about now, we need to end the fight, or we're going to die. Good thing there's no curse. I have a good chance of winning, as long as I don't have a completely garbage setup into our combo. I had to risk that a little bit, I think. I'm going to do this to get rid of these. I'm gonna do this to just do some damage. Dupe some ones. Roll a juggling ball. Do another bump. Do damage again. Lamo. Lollipop. <laughs> like, I'm I'm doing my best, chat, but this is uh it's a little rough. So he's almost dead. Juggling ball helps. Now he is dead. Oh, he actually died to Licorice? Oh, that's embarrassing. That is actually embarrassing. Oof. That feeling with Licorice isn't a joke item. I mean... I guess I could try. Double Claw is not bad. So every time I get snapped, we could do a million damage. But if I'm ever not in a point where I could get snapped, I'm in trouble. Dice value plus one. Got an extra dice. Burn a five here. We mostly just need to make sure we don't get one shot. Uh, burn a six here, I guess. Throw away the Kapows. Cauldron up a five. Wall for damage. Duplicate a six. Juggling ball the wolf. Juggling ball, probably the six actually. Need to do one more. Uh, we'll do this. I'm gonna lollipop the dupe, then I'm gonna use the juggling ball. There we go. Throw these away. I wanna be basically at full health, or I think I die. Huh. So with the claws, we're kinda doing some decent damage, and I could throw away these licorice right now. And I could throw away the kapows.
yeah. So we're getting there. I'm not gonna use the thing until later because I didn't have any dice. Oh, he couldn't do anything? Oh, that is... That is a big yikes for them. Oh, I drew a Kapow, that kind of blows. Well, it's not bad. Uh... Poison again, I guess. I mean, he's taking decent damage over time, which I didn't think was gonna be a, a, an ability to do, but here we are. Guess I'll leave my Blambos in hand for now. Why couldn't he use his abilities? Was it due to how the re-equipment works? Where he would just waste his time? No, he still has it. Weird. Um, let's discard our Blamos. Dupe the Lollipop. Juggling Ball with a 3. They need to do a little bit more damage. Dupe a 6. That's kind of huge. Ball I can't use. Okay, so he's taking 7. Let's heal with sweets to damage. Oh, never mind, we shielded. Reroll a six. Out of five instead. That's not quite what I wanted. Get rid of the Kapows. Oh, if I kept the six, the bump would have popped up. I should have thought about that. I blame being tired. Um. Yeah, now I'm down to dice. I don't think I'm gonna kill now. Unfortunate. Cause I can't use the claw. It, he's like so close to dead. I just can't quite do it. Next turn, he should be ultra dead. Leave our hand like this. Hopefully he doesn't do too much damage to us. Fine. Curse sucks. Could be worse. So I don't have to do anything and he dies. So... I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, if you're cursed, why do I want to do anything? Plus one to all things that are there. I don't think I really want to rent a powerful item. I think I'd rather just have Power Surge dice rolling a bit more. I guess I could have, in theory, gotten rid of one of the other poison cards. Sweets is probably the one that's going to be really annoying to deal with, because that has no synergy with anything. But I think this hand is okay. Now dupe a card. Uh, I probably want to dupe my dupe. I mean, being able to potentially do that more than once is kind of good. Take two at the start of each turn unless your limit break is full? Seriously? <laughs> Wow, these rules suck, chat. I can dupe again. Oh, there's Rotten Apple. Okay, we do Rotten Apple later. We should fight the other enemies first. Wow, and even it's the start of the turn. I can't even dodge the damage. It's so nasty. Right, at least we can make like a million fours. <laughs> do you know what I mean, chat? Burn up another four here. Actually, this might be worth it. Nice value plus one. Get rid of that. Ball can do two. Juggling ball, nothing to do it with. All right, let's focus on healing. Next turn, I should have a good turn. So I can get rid of the Kapows. I have a little bit of a shield. I just have to survive this. Curse really sucks. I wish there was a way to bait it more consistently. Get rid of these. I swear if it dupes this. Okay. <laughs> Somehow didn't roll a low number there, which kind of sucks. He wants to take my Kapow, that's fine. That sucks. We, we rolled kind of poorly there. We rolled a little too high on everything. 
Normally I'm worried about having a number too low, but another curse. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it won't take two damage because I have snap at least. Come oh, on. Wow. This is brutal. I can't even use my ability. Big yikes. Please stop rolling doubles. I'm getting poisoned to death. There's not much I can do about it because we're rolling so bad. I don't even know what to say. Like, our, our rolls are so bad. I can't do anything with this. Game, please. Okay, put a poison value back on. Can I please get a duplicate or a triplicate? It's weird because I added more claws, so I don't understand why I'm not getting duplicates in a row. That is... We're so almost dead. I got cursed again. This might be GG. Yeah. We have <laughs> literally... How am I not trolling anything that combos? I'm gonna look at my deck again in a moment. I would be like, where are our duplicates? What is happening? I can't believe I'm gonna die to this because I can't draw a single duplicate. This is so sad. Like, I can't even make it to Lollipop, even though it's so easy to do in this deck. This is so bad. Yeah, thanks, Kapows. You're too late. Damn, I think it's over. Yeah, we lost like three quarters of our health and a fury. It's over. Uh, it almost dies by itself. I'm going to remove Kapow. I'm gonna hope Cauldron doesn't troll me. Did not troll me. I mean, I'm not surprised my killing blow got stolen. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, like, we have none of the healing, and it's like, that was one fight in. That could not have gone any worse, to be honest with you. I might as well just fight the apple. Duper dice. Need more twos for claws, I think. So I can heal a little bit if I want to. I could snap. I might as well as. We'll save some time. Um. Probably heal. So if it rolls the 16, it's... This is the only enemy that's very unlikely to kill me. So, like, doing this fight is okay, but I really need to heal off of this fight. If I don't, I'm in trouble. Speaking of which, that ability might just kill us as well. Um... Do these. Dupe the force. Use Inventor. Heal. Lollipop. A more fours. Interesting. So it's gonna take five next turn. Get rid of that. I can bomb. Like I'm trying to get a little bit of healing in, but I'm probably gonna get half health here. Yeah. Yeah, roll too high. Unfortunate. I'm not going to die here, but I would have really needed some healing. I think our rolls are letting us down big time. Speaking of letting us down, can I please get the healing at least? Thank you. What the heck is this draw? Are we seriously not going to get the kill because of the... whatever. 
I'm not gonna die from this, but this is now very annoying. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> he almost did it again. That's crazy. Can I please get some healing? Keep some sixes, I guess. Any healing? Nope, no healing. <laughs> Brutal. I might as well as plus one, who cares? Sure, we're gonna heal. I'm gonna bump. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna bump. I'm gonna do this. Hopefully, we get healing. That kind of works. Take the six. Yeah, where was this earlier, by the way? What did you like the world's worst combo? Holy, this deck is so lopsided, I swear. Now we're at least getting some healing, but it's it could have been much better. This is like the first time we've gotten close to the big uh, moment the entire time since getting poison. That was such a bad that was such a bad draw. The fact that I had to take damage there at all means that I think it's GG. I mean I could fight you to get healing and dupe a card. I guess that's the technically right thing to do. But how I'm gonna defeat the other enemy, I have no idea. Alright, so I have literally nothing that combos in the upcoming cards. Nice. Guess I'll try to dupe some sixes. And I could dupe some ones. The lollipop. True, 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 nothing that compost. Game, please. <laughs> right, chat? Like, come on. What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? Play a six, I guess. I don't really want a power surge. Fine, a power surge. Happy game. I think I gotta pop this or I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna be stingy. I can avoid it. We're getting extra health. We're getting poison. We can almost kapow, kapow, kapow. I probably want to heal into a licorice here. We drew the entire deck. Dupe a card. Let's dupe a six. We roll one of the sixes. So the poison damage is really high right now. Get another dice. And a max us. Minus one on a one and so re return two dice. Okay. So we can maybe double big moment and survive. What a turn. I played every card. Get off of me. <laughs> My chat, get away from me. Perish. We definitely need that health up from the other thing. We're gonna heal now. We're so close to the end. I could get another bomb. I might just want another duplicate, honestly. I could get another lollipop, just so that I can dupe it. Not the worst thing ever. Let's get another lollipop. That way it's dupable. Plus we're having issues where we keep ending up with like fours and fives and that doesn't combine with claw. So we're trying to make it so that I can play my whole hand at once. Unfortunately, the last healing is behind the other thing. So we just have to pray I don't get broadsworded to death. <laughs> Which is, uh, interesting. Alright, that was a really good draw. And okay, let's heal. We have a little bit of snap meter. A little bit of poison. I can throw away the Kapals. I can dupe a six. Nothing... Works for juggling ball. Sadly, sadly we minus our numbers and roll literally the highest possible. I can minus one of three just to keep going. I think that's worth doing. Um, can't use that at all. Do a little bit of poison on him, which isn't too bad. I think we're gonna double heal. I'm gonna cauldron a six, maybe? Maybe we'll get something more useful. Get rid of the Kapows. Dupe a th two? Fortunately, we drew bump kind of late. So 
I can't even do anything fun with that, I don't think. Alright, we're doing some okay damage to the skeleton each turn. We just have to get through the rough spot of this next turn. I could draw a lollipop. Next turn. So six damage a turn isn't too bad. Get rid of a blammo. I think this gives me the most control next turn. So it's not too bad. He double cursed me. Okay, that's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, on the scale of things to happen, that's pretty terrible. Um... I think no matter what I do here, I'm screwed. Thanks to curse. I try to do the least offensive thing to myself. I don't really want to use my other abilities. But his curse means it just doesn't work. Oh, that's not too bad then. I thought he was going to use our abilities. I got scared. We're not in the other rule set. That's more doable then. Then I can bump this. Then I can dupe this. I can do whatever with this. Aldrin could re-roll a four. Or, you know. <laughs> right, Tal? I mean, I, 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 guess, I guess I don't, I don't technically have to roll it, I guess. Get rid of those. Use these. Aldrin again, one of the sixes. Do some damage. He's almost poisoned to death. Reroll the one. So I just need to do a little more and he's dead. Poison's locking it in. I need to do three damage. I cannot believe Kapow is actually going to be our savior again. Like, flabbergasted chat. I mean, like, we actually managed to make health up this time. I am very surprised he did not just double broadsword me out of existence because he definitely could have done 20 damage to us. But, you know, I like the damage over time without the finisher. Because we already have a finisher. It's called the finale card. Another duplicate is good. <sighs> we got <laughs> Madison again. I think it's time to bully a little girl. <laughs> it's, it's happening, chat. Holy. So I'm going to take damage. We can lollipop. Get random dice. Which does help us out a lot. Then I can get rid of Lollipop if I don't want it. Let's claw. Get rid of Sour Candy in a moment. I might do that. So I think I might actually just dump Lollipop. I don't think I need these values at all. Now let's get rid of them. We roll. Get rid of these. Do healing, I guess. So our health is okay. We basically got free meter since we heal every turn. So in a way, we kind of turned that penalty against us. We could get rid of Kapow. We need to do a little better. So we need to do a Licorice, maybe. Or Blamo. We're going to dupe a six, probably. Use robot just because. We have nothing but duplicates left, which is not a bad thing to have. We're gonna do that. We're gonna re-roll a six. Double fours. Dupe a dice. Dupe a dice again. Okay. Wish I could use claw. So we're doing some solid damage, I guess. Double Kapow, I think I'm going to get rid of that. And I think I'm just going to pay for Big Moment. And... I guess Blammo to free up the card. So we just have to not get one shot here. We did almost half her health, but she can very much kill us with Chocolate Cookie here. She chose not to Chocolate Cookie that. I'm glad she did not duplicate the chocolate cookie. That would could have been really gross. So I'm glad the AI is not playing to their best. Because we'd probably be in trouble otherwise. Uh, lollipop here. I think what I need to do is play this. Take some damage. Bump to make this... No, that's not going to work. 
one is special. Did I really, did I really not play anything without wasting all my turns? Ugh, that feels terrible. Um, I guess a plus one this and minus one this feels terrible. So I guess I'll activate snap. At least it gives me more dice to work with. Let's re-roll one of the sixes. I just gotta keep doing our best here. So she's taking solid damage a turn. Oh, I should have seen the licorice was there. That was a missed play. Roll the dice up, because I just need this out of here. Sadly, we keep not rolling a three. Just kind of an issue. So our health is looking pretty bad. So if I heal up, I'm not as injured as before. I might just go for healing here, just to play it ultra safe. Send her to turn here. So we just need to do basically 16 damage. And I just put myself out of hopefully damage kill range from her. Just more what I was worried about. She's gonna give a snap. I think we have this, as long as we don't roll, like, truly terrible. So I could take damage here and do the juggling ball. Okay, so all we need to do is play two more. I'm gonna do one. She's taking seven. And I can lollipop again. Yeah, that's better. Gives us more dice. Now I can finally use the claws. So I think she's dead. We drew kind of awkwardly again, but I think this is fine. So she needs to take two more damage. <laughs> I'm like scraping by. We're doing like four damage total. This is so painful. Oh my gosh, please perish. Okay, she's now dead. Do I feel like DMing her? Or anything else I could really do? Not really. You know what? I'm gonna take damage just to heal. That's how you assert dominance. I'm gonna use power surge. I don't even need it. There we go. We poisoned our cookies. Get out of here, Madison. So yeah, we managed to do that one one try. It's theoretically possible, of course, that this wheel is gonna spin you up on a prize and a path out of the dungeon. So let's spin it. I'm going to enjoy watching your face as you lose. Our time, finally. Oh, no car? Yeah, go on. Try to hide your despair. We beat all the episodes. Complete all 36 regular. Completed all 6 bonus. It was good. Yeah, fortunately we didn't have to fight her. That, that probably would have gone badly. Oh, so we could just play as her. Is that what this is? Well, hello, my doom little dicelings. Oh no! Oh yes, now what are you doing backstage? Ready to give up on your dreams and go into minion training? We're leaving and you can't stop us. She totally can, sorry. Yeah, I definitely can. Or haven't you been paying attention? We've been paying a lot of attention. We fought through your dungeons. We beat your bosses. Yet we... We're still trapped down here thanks to your rigged wheel of lies. You're a cheat and this game isn't fair, so we're going home. Minions, the doors, enter lockdown. Once the doors are locked, that's it. We're stuck backstage until we give up. Really sorry, friends, but at least we tried. No, I'm not giving up. And I'm not going to stay backstage forever. Wait, can anyone make it through the last door before it closes? Oh, I get to choose who goes to the finale. I barely even remember how these characters play. Um, Maybe I hold on to this for now. Oh, it won't let me back out. Uh, the warrior was okay. The witch was complicated, but was worth it over time. The jester is sort of fun. I guess I could try with the jester. Yes, I can make it. My turn to play the hero. Coming to get you, all of you. 
and the frog and the baby squid and everyone. No, no, you could kill baby squid. That's fine. We're going to beat the Lady Luck and we're going to leave the dungeons. Just you wait and see. Find a way to rescue everyone and escape the dungeons. If Jester is knocked out, it's game over. We have like a full party. Interesting. I guess I'll complete it. Against all odds is a new ability. Slurp, slurp, says the slime. What does this do? Roll four even dice, ready and eight HP. Switch fighter once per turn. Hmm. We have a totally new set of abilities to learn, which is awkward. I was hoping by playing the character, we would have an idea of what we were doing. So I'm assuming we slowly build up a party and everybody can die except for him. And that's such a bad dice roll. I mean, I'm assuming we're still leveling and doing everything else because Switch Fighter won't do anything since we're the only player. But that I understand. Slurp bull chant. Slurp bull goes to slime. You win, the enemy joins your party. Oh. Oh, do I not get any healing at all? Ooh, that's kind of brutal. Ooh, do I not level at all? That's not great. Hey, hey, it's you. You smell different. Oh, because you're on a mission of vengeance and rescue. That's great. Let's fight. Uh... I might as well take the damage for the team since I'm already injured. Although it sucks that he furied that. I'll bite her. I'm so good at biting. There we go. So now I can heal him. Baby squid. All right, chat. Baby squid. All right, who can I switch into? I'll be the wolf puppy. Roll four even dice. I could just have him, like, body baby squid, which would be hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. So it means we're probably going to have a lot of dead characters, because I'm not going to heal them. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. Alright, so I had, I had a pretty dead hand, so I could try the slime. Oh, that's right, I'd evens. I wasn't thinking. Although, what am I going to do for... Oh, goodbye, slime. at least charge up with this. I mean, it would be nice if they survive, but the headbutts are just doing so much damage. Hmm. I'd like to keep our other characters alive for a little bit more. We'll see if we can do it. Stupid baby squid. I know. Maybe you can't beat Lady Luck. It's so fun having around. Would it be okay if I joined in the rest of the episode? One last ride. Screw you, baby squid. <laughs> you know what you did. You're a monster. We could get one more heal, which I'd prefer not to use on the Jester. I'd have. Wow, that is a garbage roll. I guess I could juggling ball. I guess if I always start with the Jester, I can at least get free attacks. Oh, right. I keep forgetting these. I see the problem is like I'm too tired to remember all of their abilities, so we're not gonna do very well here. I'm just physically way too tired. I did not really want to do this, but here we are. I guess I could headbutt. I have another even number. Guess I could try to save them. 
Yeah. I might come back to this later. Not worth healing yet. Oof. We're getting, like, really bad rolls. Because odd numbers don't do anything with this team. Like, I could blind them, but who cares? I just want to make Baby Squid take the damage. I, I care not if Baby Squid dies. Yeah, I'm gonna heal with Jester. He, he could take one hit. It's fun. Of course, I draw nothing but fours. I can't do anything with it. Man, all I wanted was like a one to three. Would have been fine. So annoying, chat. Well, so much for healing health. Unless we, we get lucky. No, he's gonna do four. That sucks. Well, so much for gaining health. All we needed to do was roll one to three, and the fight would have been over. So sad. We're definitely gonna heal ourselves. So can I force use first? No. It's also a shame they don't have the full health totals. Uh look at the handyman. We definitely should re-roll the one. Re-roll for another one. Thank you, game. Guess I'll burn my against the odds. And a six and a one. Reroll a two. Switch into Aerio Head the weekend. I'm a little sad he has so little health. I mean, he might be able to survive, maybe. Shock there sucks. Wow. Wow. So he's just basically dead. But I can use him to block an attack later, I guess. It could be worse. Uh, I'm gonna have the Jester do something. Next turn should get the kill. As long as we get like a one or a two, we should be fine. So I'm gonna use the health up on him again. Oh, you can roll above that? Oh, I didn't. Mm, I don't really. Mm, I can headbutt. I think I can headbutt. I have to, now. I actually have to think about it. Who has the ability that I need? That's awkward. I mean, at least we're going up in characters overall. Jester's health is mostly the same. What a fun group you are hiking around through the dungeons like this. Here, I've got something for you on the house. Receive an extra dice. Okay, that's huge. You know what? Love it here in the dungeon, but if you don't, maybe you shouldn't actually have to stay here for all eternity. Hope you teach Lady Luck a lesson. So we got an extra dice, which is big. I'm glad we went over there first. Yeah, that's going to make the character's longevity spike pretty heavily. I could switch characters. They're gonna take damage for me. I guess I could use the handyman to shock. Let's use this ability. Uh, hopefully he survives a little bit. Ooh, the shock there is actually kind of big. I believe Baby Squid is actually useful right now. Alright, Baby Squid's headbutt is actually MVP for me right now, because sometimes I just need to do six. So we've gone up nothing but characters, which is good. So we have a lot of 
things that have that could survive a hit if I need them to. All right, let's reroll. So the vacuum can heal itself. Yeah. Like Candyman might survive a turn. Seriahud will die instantly, but he could weaken. So if I need him to weaken, we can. Um the vacuum. Yeah, the fact that this can self-heal is kind of big. We just have to avoid getting hit by the wicker, wicker staff. That's pretty much it. I feel like that's kind of huge for us. But the Jester takes damage here, it's not the end of the world. He's the character we're probably gonna heal every turn. Like, if I need to tank a hit like this, it's fine. He actually didn't activate it, that's interesting. So it's gonna do like nine plus damage. Do I sacrifice a care? Oh, I keep forgetting I can't do that. That forces me to swap. Ugh. I just wish I could check. Ugh. Wish I didn't do that. I wish I could undo that if I selected. Because I realized there's not really a way to see my party's health total, which is kind of a problem. It is kind of a problem. So I was gonna use like one more dice, whatever. Did he roll, like, the best possible? Are you serious? Unreal. Yeah, the vacuum I would love to save. Yeah, why can't I see their health totals? It's actually really annoying me. I'm gonna pop the dice. Why is he rolling double sixes? This is so painful. Oh. He chose not to burn me. I mean, if he burned me, I would have probably died there, to be honest with you. Alright, so I can heal up this character again. Unfortunately, our tank got big damage. Taking on Lady Luck. All of you, together, huh? Here, take this. It might help even another dice. Can't say blame your minions for joining in. Working conditions have been going downhill lately. Why not shit things up a bit? So I need to find an enemy I could potentially heal off of, which might be easier said than done. Because he does like a lot of annoying damage. Yeah, I think our healer is hosed due to what happened earlier, which is unfortunate. Alright, I have to choose the sacrifice. And a Wicker Man tank. <laughs> yeah, see these inflict one poisons? I guess technically I could swap it out. And maybe the other guy can live. Because Wicker Man will take two. Then I can heal him, which is actually huge. I could swap back into the vacuum to heal three. Kind of works. As long as he doesn't roll like all sixes, I think we're fine. So we'll take three, but he's up two health, I think. Oh, well, now he's not up health. So we're gonna heal health again. some damage. What do I not care about? This Wicker Man again? Yeah, let's have Wicker Man tank again. So do some damage just to guarantee a kill. He takes poison, it's fine. I can have the vacuum clean it up. Yeah, him taking four here is not a big deal. He might even roll a 6 here. He did not. That's fine. 
So let's switch then. Okay, the vacuum is starting to become usable again. Yeah, it having nine health is kind of huge. Now I just do five here and end it. So we've only gone up characters. We haven't lost anybody. Now I could choose to heal somebody. Um, I don't think it's worth healing the Jester. I could heal Stereo Head. We can actually take a hit. Maybe Stereo Head. It's probably the most value. Because him being able to weaken means he might survive more than one hit. The fact that we're... Oh. Fighting a boss? Like a boss boss? Uh... Well, this blows all of our healings up there. Screw you, game. Uh, well... Let's roll really well, I guess. I don't know who could take advantage... I think we're gonna lose a character here. I, I, if we could somehow get through this without losing, I'd be very surprised. Um, even though he takes... Well, Wicker Man might take more damage from fire. I don't think I want to do that. Is there anything else I could do with these numbers? Rat King has a lot of poison. We make him do something here. Rat King, you, you did your job. <laughs> You're gonna tank for us. And do some consistent boss damage. Yeah, because I think Wicker Man takes bonus damage versus fire, so he would just die instantly. Yeah, that's about as good as he was pretty much gonna get there. So we are... Whittling him down a little bit. Yeah, if we could keep Rat King alive for one more turn, that would be huge. Because he is kind of outputting all the damage on our team right now. Might have to have a sacrifice. Who do I not care if they die? Who would be able to do something with odd numbers is the other question. Um, slime dying is not the worst. Maybe squid actually is something useful. The problem is slime is only evens. Which again, this is like a lot of memorization that I don't really enjoy. Um, I could fury for next turn. I could try to see if stereo head lives. But not having weaken on the final boss might be GG. Any man could use the numbers. He could, in theory, survive. If he dies, it's not the end of the world. I think it's better we do this. If he survives, he survives. So we're doing 10 damage a turn, so I think Rat King is doing exactly what he needs to do. So as long as he does not hit every single one of these, I live. And I did. So he still has a purpose. Um, I, oh, I keep forgetting that you can't do that without selecting. I right, who are we sacrificing to the gods? Any man being able to shock might be useful. Maybe Wicker Man is not useful anymore. We can heal. something like this. We need to do 10. He's probably dead here. Because he takes double, I think. Oh, he doesn't take double. Oh, he doesn't have the weaknesses they normally have. Oh. Well, then he lived. Okay. Do we have to do 10 damage? Oh. So I can do 1 plus... Oh, how much did the other ability do? 6? I get against the odds. Six for healing. That's actually huge. So I just have to do four. It's actually work. Wicker Man actually beat Buster? What? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, get outplayed, I guess. 
I should probably switch Fighter to uh, the Vacuum, just for more healing. I somehow didn't lose a character. Yeah, Vacuum at 11, chat. Wow. Buster got shame killed. Okay. I mean, I didn't lose a character, as long as these are both heals. I could put Rat King's health back up. Because him being able to multi-poison, we saw was huge. That was so much damage. We have another heal. Who do I want to give it to? <laughs> I almost feel like giving it to Wicker Man, because he just... He put in so much work. Honestly, let's just heal him up. So our vacuum's above 10 HP, so it might survive a turn. So we can always swap into it and heal four. So it's pretty much effectively at full. Wicker Man, if we have a six, can be at 16. Yeah, then we have one more fight and then healing. Try to double weaken with Stereo Head. I'm a little worried about survivability because he's going to do 2 plus roll. He's going to be doing 8, I think, minimum. My dice roll isn't that great. We do a Buster, but Buster we should save for the boss. Uh. Try Stereo Head with double weaken. Yeah. This still took some big damage, but it could have been worse. Multi sixes, huh? Let's switch then. So we're gonna heal, and then we're gonna burn him. I think that was kind of worth it. Okay, he can't curse me, but he's gonna do 11, which is about how much I thought he was gonna do. So if we could get through this without burning our dice, we can end up with a dice for the final boss, but I think we should just use it. So we healed Wicker Man again. We could do six and six. Put him at two. Switch fighters into vacuum and hoover him to death. I mean, vacuum at, vacuum at 13 health now. It's looking pretty good, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, so many of you. All these bones are walking around together in one place. Can I come? I know you have the flesh as well, but I'll look past it for the sake of the bones. Okay, so we have two full health characters and we can heal again, most importantly. Um, probably Wicker Man. He's kind of like our go-to tank. Wolf Puppy is just there to bait. Sorry, Wolf Puppy. <laughs> You're going to body block for me really hard at some point. Oh, interesting. We're like on our cape or something? Fight. 200 health. Changes equipment every turn? Alright, well, I mean, I'm pretty healed. Well, I thought I trapped you with for eternity. But I see you've been running around the dungeons yet again. I've, I've come to get my friends. And you've made some new ones. Yeah, when I told them I was going to take you down, they were really keen to join in. You're not super popular around here, you know. Yeah, this is why if we can get like a big ability off with the Rat King, he might by himself do 40 damage just over time. So it's very important we get that off on her as soon as possible. Because that is just continuous poison damage. Oh. oh my dear. I don't need popularity. I have power. As you're about to find out. So we're going to roll our dice. How did I get nothing to re-roll? That is so bad. No. That, was the that is the worst case scenario, actually. Alright, we're switching characters immediately. Come here, Buster. I mean, well, I could just immediately hit with Wicker Man. Yeah, let's just immediately hit with Wicker Man. He can heal. 
burn her dice. All sixes, huh? Oh, she just one shot. Holy. Um, Rat King time. Well, so much for being at full health, chat. Okay, time to poison her for sure. We're gonna have the wolf puppy body block. Hi. So with the poison damage, she should take an okay amount over time. I like how she always has the thing to do more damage to us. So I guess I guess I should look at what her weakness is. So I guess we just got kind of unlucky. I guess I'll go back to Rat King again. And we rolled super low, which really sucks. Uh... Animals, green things, things that can float. So does Skeleton dodge this? It's possible I need to swap constantly based off of her damage. Wait. Wait, did I misread that? Why did that do 18? What? I, I'm a little lost. Something weird happened. I thought that meant... Unless it was only green things don't take that damage. Was it? If so, that's kind of unfortunate. I mean, I guess no matter what, she would have killed somebody. So ultimately, it didn't really matter. Alright, so we're getting good poison on her. So I'd like him to stay around for a little bit. Um... Yeah, so it didn't matter there. She would have killed somebody regardless. I, I guess I could have saved the first person the first time I played. I don't think it really matters what I do here. You know what, baby squid? It's your time to shine. So if we can last three more turns, she's going to take another 30 or so. You don't like my rules? Well, bad luck, because it's time for some more. More rules for everyone. Don't use a symbol that has an attack. I don't know if defying is five health. Do blank, but if enemy is full health, do double. Gain a random blessing. Um. But she's not going to attack this turn, then. I mean, I'm kind of okay with this. So we're racking up a lot of poison on her. So she can't one-shot. Because I'm not at full health. So the poison is actually really, really hitting her pretty heavily. So if I can last eight more turns, she dies automatically. It might be possible. Don't, do, uh, don't reduce any cooldowns. Do two times damage, shock all equipment. Okay. Um, I guess I just tank with this. She can't one shot. She'll do 12, but vacuum should survive. So, this I'm okay with. Okay. Again, the poison kind of makes this doable. So let's just see what our next ability is. Don't use threes. Okay. Plus one damage, can use it five times this turn. So she would do one, 
So she'd do 7, 7, 14. So she'd one-shot somebody. Unless it's a boss. Maybe the boss character will survive. Right, because she'll do... 1 and 6 is 7. 2 and 5 is 7. So that's 14. And then 3 and 4 is 7. So she'll do 21. So this should not kill Buster. If I'm doing math properly. Just as long as I don't use a 3. So she's kind of in trouble, actually. Oh, never mind. She had less dice than I thought she did. Okay, she only did seven that time. Don't reduce any countdowns. Reduce health to one. I don't think that matters. I mean, vacuum MVP? Go ahead, drain, her, drain the health. So she's in big trouble. I think I win at this rate, unless she could kill more than one person a turn. Her reducing me to one doesn't matter here. Oh, look at that, you're still just about alive. And I know how hard you've worked to get this far. It almost seems a shame to end it all. Oh wait, no it doesn't. In fact, it seems long overdue, and very satisfying to me personally. Okay, what's her equipment? So I'm learning to respect her equipment a bit more. Do 20 damage, burn all dice. Okay. The so next turn, she's going to kill somebody. Um... So she has no other rules other than whoever she's targeting dies. Um... I guess this doesn't matter then. Let's just absorb some health. Come here, Rat King. You did your job. Go down in the blaze of glory. Ooh, she's at 16 poison. Give the salute to Rat King, chat. I think we're good. She dies in two turns, no matter what I do. I might actually be able to one-shot her here, depending on who I get. Oh no, is she gonna die to the shame that is Baby Squid? Oh, <gasps> can she die to Baby Squid? Oh god, that would be so shameful. Oh, it depends on what the rule is, though. Oh, please die, to die in shame to Baby Squid, please. 30 damage inflict 99 curses oh no almost almost i did baby squid i just need to do five damage guess we'll tell her it sucks to suck gg no impossible when your final boss is easier than Jester Stage 3. I mean, you're not wrong. That was way easier. That other one was just BS. Aww. And amazing. Oh, is there more? There better not be. You found us. You did it. You brought back the minions. You didn't give up. I'm so happy to see you. Wait, confetti? What's Yay! happening? Why are those lights flashing? Because you won, you big silly Billy. You refuse to abandon your friends. You put aside your differences with the minions. And you gave up your worldly desires and beat me. And you're not angry? Oh my dear, no, of course not. You've done brilliantly. Gosh, when was the last time we had a real live victory? Jester darling, can you fetch the records? No, I'm not your minion anymore. We don't have any records anyway. Hmm? Are you sure? Tiny pink octopus, go and see if you can find any records. 
I've been waiting so long for someone to actually win this game, you wouldn't believe. I feel like it would have happened sooner if you had made the game so hard it didn't cheat. But then what would have happened to your journey of self-realization? Now everyone pose for a photo. Beautiful. Such a magnificent little bundle of fighters. Come on, one more. I want to, something to remember you by when you're gone. When we're gone, so we're, we're free to go? All of us? Of course. But don't I get to be super strong? No. Don't I get any followers? No. Your prize is self-knowledge, darling. I thought we covered that. Also, I can't help but notice that I'm still a giant walking dice. Yes, and is there some sort of problem? Now one more big smile. Say cheese. Robot dot dot dots. Okay, look. I could deal with having to sleep. I've kind of gotten used to the dice thing. But what about the minions? Are they free to go as well? Yeah, we never would have made it out without them. Honestly, my loves, they're all very settled here. And I grumble a little. They have families and vegetable gardens and everything. It's not the point. They fought with us. And they won. Oh, I suppose you're right. They were very brave. I'll tell you what. They can leave if they really want to. They don't... And if they don't, then I'll see if that employee suggestion box opens. I might increase everybody's holiday leave. What holiday leave? From nothing, my dear. I'll increase it from nothing. My goodness, can't you just enjoy your confetti? That's her dot dot dots. Okay, I guess it's pretty good confetti. Let's all give one last big smile and think about the lessons we've learned as we fought so valiantly in these dungeons. Yeah, we learned Jester 3 sucks. That one was actually, like, unplayable. Holy. I was gonna say, please, developers, if you ever change that, please fix that. That was just so, so blatantly harder than everything else in the game. It's not even funny. In some cases, we fought side by side. Maybe in other cases, we fought in vicious opposition. But the important thing is that we did it together. Oh, my precious little Dicecateers, my real live winners. It's such a delight having you here. Please, please do drop by any time. I absolutely promise I, I'll let you leave again. Now, did we ever make any end credits? Yeah. I feel like most of the characters were not too bad. I feel like Robot had probably... We got really lucky with Robot. I feel like he had the second or third hardest world. I don't remember the exact number. We could look at the lose count. Where I'm very surprised we got through it. Um, I know some of the ones just felt kind of bad and weren't as fun. Like, Thief had a few that were not really fun, but they were still kind of done in one try. The uh, Jester's, Jester's 3, no, nothing competes with that. That was just, like, actually BS. The fact that you're, like, waiting on, like, certain minions to spawn, and then they may or may not be blocking healing, and they may or may not be required to advance. There's, there's just too many layers of RNG that don't really matter for the other characters. Like, Thief kind of cared about that, but they still at least got their own build. Yeah, which which I don't think was that bad, to be honest with you. I honestly thought which was easier than Inventor and Robot. Robot and Inventor, I remember, they were both... They both had ones where I was like, ugh. It was just like, <laughs> crawling to get through. Inventor is just brutal. Like, the, the Robot gambling for their power was probably my one of my least favorite powers. Aside from Jester World 3. I just didn't really like the Robot at all. So I, I would personally not want to play hard mode for Robot. But for like Warrior and Thief, maybe Witch, I would play it. I would skip every I would skip World 3 Jester. Like technically that's doable. So at least that's there. Just seeing if there's anything else we have to unlock. So we just have to play hard mode. Beat a boss with four more battle axes equipped. Do 12 or more damage in one turn by throwing dice. Uh, I think we could do that with Witch. I I'm actually surprised we didn't get this with Witch. I remember throwing like a million dice, but I think the enemy just didn't have enough health. I know at several points we ended it like 10 plus dice. Complete an episode as the Witch with four prepared slots. Huh, how is that possible? 
Maybe, maybe every single power up has to go towards that. I feel like five or more freeze in a single turn. I feel like we did this one before. I feel like this. I feel like this didn't unlock. Yeah, how did I not inflict five or more freeze? Didn't I do like freeze 20 at one point? I'm pretty sure, Chad, because we had a. Uh... I, I think it was either the witch ability or it was the robot ability where I just put like 20 freeze. And it was the one where the freeze tick. Maybe because it was the one where the freeze ticks down and the alternate rules it didn't count. Because I remember like they just couldn't get rid of it and it was hilarious because they just had all ones like forever. Like even though it was freeze six, like they just went to zero every time basically. Stack 30 or more total poison on an enemy at once. We almost had that at the end, surprisingly, on the bonus round. I have a max health of 64 or higher. I'm not sure how to do that one. Use Dragon's Tooth, become a furry dice. That's the bear challenge. This one is unfortunate because it requires RNG to do. You know what? I think it's appropriate Rat King was the thing we unlocked. Yeah, maybe, maybe you have to turn into a bear dice and that gives you enough raw health. Maybe the combination of the two get you to 64. I love Baby Squid and Rat King. The ones that ended the playthrough were actually the trophies we unlocked. What were the odds, chat? Of all the monsters we could have had, it was literally the two that we basically beat them with. I was doing the Baby Squid beatdown. <laughs> oh man, that's that's something. I mean, there are so many monsters. It was just specifically those two. Yeah, we didn't end up needing the other characters, fortunately. So I could have maybe saved their health total, but I think I did the right thing by just stacking poison with the Rat King every time we hit super. That that paid for itself. He ended up doing probably over 70 to 80 damage just because he would stack like 5 and then 12 and then 17. So eventually she just got whittled out. That, that felt nice. So I actually kind of like that survival mode, unlike the other bullshit of Jester. Four star difficulty. Get out of here. World three is like seven star. Get out of here. I would maybe buy that for his other ones, but not his world three. Should put like skull difficulty. Just don't even use stars anymore. Yeah. I honestly don't think which was harder than the other characters. Like if you look at this, I had the elimination round. That was about it. I think it's four yeah the parallel universe one was rough because we didn't get lucky this one we were taking forever on robot was definitely my my least favorite character overall like there's some things in thief i didn't like like thief 2 which exactly and it has the same rule as jester 3 more or less and, the, and i hated that one so it doesn't surprise me that that's the one i didn't like in thief warrior i think was straightforward did i even lose other than the extra health one I think so. Oh, we lost once on the... Oh, the bonus... Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember. Yeah, we, we got we got ended by the bonus rule, not for the enemies. I, I don't know, chat. Like, the robot one, I just feel like... It's difficult for the wrong reasons. Like, if you don't... If you overcharge, it's just over. Inventor also did feel pretty hard. Which was more like, as long as I did like two prepared slots, I don't think she was that hard to play, to be honest. If I did just like purely random spells, I could see it. But I like that she kind of could play with dice RNG. And I felt like she had way more control than the inventor or the robot. Even though her gimmick was more involved than the other characters, I don't think she was that hard. Honestly, I'd put her at three stars. Inventor's probably four. Some of robots I would put at five, just because of like how unfair a bad roll is. Between like having abilities that are like if you roll a six, it's done, or if you overcharge, it's done. Like, I don't think there's another character that has like a power up that does literally nothing other than maybe the jester. Where we've seen the jester could just re-roll hand and just nothing will happen. He's got some pretty bad power up states. So I find it weird he's not at least the same difficulty as the Jester, to be honest with you. Like maybe they thought they were being cued and did like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and wouldn't go to 6. 
And honestly, the survival mode one, I would probably... I mean, it was easier than Witch. It was easier than Inventor. It was way easier than Robot. Honestly, it was somewhere between, like, Warrior and Thief. Like, there were a lot of abilities to track, but... I thought it was fine. I guess if we didn't have Poison, it would have been really hard. And again, I feel like other than World 3, Jester was, I think, easier than these other characters. Like, I would I would say it makes sense he's lower than the Witch. I don't think he was harder than the Witch. He also had a very complicated turn. But yeah, that, uh... That World 3, though. What trash. <laughs> I, I have no interest in... Like, in a weird way, I almost wonder if Hard Mode makes him actually easier to win with because his abilities are less crap. Like, like, honestly? Because, like, his monster abilities, some of them were just so bad. Like, Spike? Ugh. If you don't have the power-up state, it's like, GG. <laughs> just like how Poison was basically dead in our hand. Like, think about all the cards we drew with Jester that were just, like, straight up dead. I, like, would rather have not had had any cards and just relied on the finale. Like, the first floor we were on, I comboed so smoothly compared to when it gave us the additional cards for help, in big air quotes. So I'm definitely disappointed with uh, how he ended up feeling, just due to the fact that it wanted to do duplicates and triplicates. But then it introduced, like, really clunky, dice-specific cards, which remind me of some of the problems that um, Robot and Inventor get into, which at least you could choose whether it's odd or even, or, like, a high or a low. Regester didn't really get that choice. It's like, hey, do you want to do you want to do all evens and then low threes and then we're just not going to give you anything that goes with your other ability? Get wrecked, idiot. But anyway, I don't mind doing this. I had fun with the survival actually, even though I was very very tired. <laughs> and for the first time ever, I bothered to look at what their abilities were. So take that as you will, I suppose. I don't honestly think it really mattered other than the final boss fight. I do think, though, what I would have liked to have seen, I guess as we go into the Let's Chat, and I don't plan on doing another one, is what I would have liked to have seen was the ability to look at your party health, and also abilities mid-battle. I feel like that would have been really small to do, like you just hit Y in the menu, because there's already a Y, you already press Y to go into the party menu. Like, would it have been that much to just add that same feature in battles so I could look at their health and their roles? So I could plan better, so it's not just me memorizing like 14 random enemies. It just like, it, it's, it's like, it's not a make or break for the mode, but it's like, why wouldn't you do that? Like, what is the downside to doing that? I don't think there is any. Like, it's kind of arbitrary to remember everybody's health totals, everybody's specific dice rolls. Like, yeah, if you play a long time, it's not too bad. But at the same time, it's like, eh? <laughs> you know what I mean, Chad? Like, eh? Small quality of life. It's like not, it's kind of like a, the equivalency would be like Pokemon. Even if you're not, like, you would at least be able to see their health totals <laughs> and, and see that before you get hard locked. Or at least let me cancel. If I hit the action to select a party member and I'm allowed to cancel, then that's also okay. But I didn't see that option. Or at least it, I, it did not let me, maybe, maybe I pressed it too early if it exists, but it, it did not appear to when I tried it. So, anyway. I think that's it for now, so I don't know if I'll do another Dicey Dungeons. Because we uh, we hard stopped last time. I don't think we did a final review on the game, but I guess technically we could now. But not not today, though. This video is long enough. So anyway, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point, the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And I guess see you again in the next part. Maybe we'll come back and do hard mode.